Who? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Duck, goose, ribs. Ah, uh, hey! Welcome you to Twitch. Welcome, Twitch. <laughs> we are sad to give you this breaking news. I'll wait till Craig finishes putting the mic. There. You done? I don't know. Okay. What's going on, guys? Hey, welcome to Eyes of the Holder. We're not playing D&D &D tonight. Yeah. Porter's not feeling well. Gary's not here. So we're playing... And Coleman's already drunk. Uh, it's It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Getting longer as we speak. Since you've been gone. It's <laughs> not the right words. <laughs> Tell you all about it when the beauty is gone. Is that not... I like nope. it. Oh, thanks. Well, It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, I encouraged it. You encouraged it, so... This is your fault. <laughs> it is. Um, what's going on, guys? To our one viewer out there. Welcome. Welcome. Dot Gusevitz. Sorry, I didn't get a notification, so I'm trying to get all my shit set up here, so... I got a notification. I didn't get a notification. Oh, I, I did. Go. I did. Well, good for you, Amber. I'm the best of us. Well, good for you, Amber. <laughs> It is true. Shit. You're not subscribed fuck to our Jesus shit. fuck. So many ads. We have one ad. Why is that still have the tape on it? I couldn't get it off. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> so tonight... Craig's gonna be playing what? I don't know. I oh. haven't decided yet. Okay. We'll let the I mean there's nobody decide? here yet, so oh extensions, god damn it. Oh fuck. I have to subscribe to us. Yes you do. <laughs> I can't subscribe right now. Because <laughs> I don't know the password to the Amazon <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's got you. What? Huh? <laughs> no, like I changed the password, like the Amazon game thing. Sure, you did. Well, I didn't change it, but I got a new phone, and so now my phone knows nothing except for everything I like, which is weird. Because it's listening to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either listening or you know, watching, recording what I search. Mainly, I've learned that there's a new secret incognito mode oh. where Google doesn't know who you are. Do you think that's real? I No, not at all. <laughs> but if I look at my browser history, mm -hmm. I don't have to be, feel bad about myself. Be like, oh, you sick fuck. Oh, you shouldn't feel bad about yourself. You should no. just own who you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's been a long day. How are we doing? Anybody coming in yet? Without you. Two viewers. Hey, one of them me. Probably one of them is me. I tell you all, all about cool. it when I see you again. It's been a long day in a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripping this directly from a podcast I listen to. <laughs> well, I appreciate because I just thought you were funny for a second. Oh, yeah, no. I'm glad the note's fake. I can't try. <laughs> we all know I can't try to be funny. <laughs> No, it's passive. It's passive. But it is something we learned this weekend. We're able to actually put... It's good when you can like use words to describe things when you're given the light verbiage for that. And we learned that Coleman's... Like, I mean, what? Your whole personality, whole way you get through life... 
passive. The passive charisma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just like just enough lovable, just enough funny, just enough charismatic mm. to not fuck up a lot. I is that, is, that, what, is that what we decided? Is that what we decided? <laughs> I feel like you're adding words now into my mouth about that. I don't fuck up. I do fuck up. Okay, yeah. What did what what were the words? What words? The words that, that you're was... you're just enough funny that you yeah, don't well, fuck up. Oh, I was making things up there. Yeah, I don't know I don't if know. you could tell. I could tell. <laughs> but no, I mean no. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the wit on you. Mm. Amazing. You're wrong. <laughs> Star Wars Complete Saga. <clears throat> I'm putting play, our sh- shit on our social media. So. You could play Greedfall again. Or Diablo 2. Resurrected. You just... Or just go with something like Roblox, and we could just talk about Minecraft. Yeah, we could do that also. That's a thing. What is Aegis Wing? Starts with an A, sorry, Craig. Yeah. Three viewers, we got another viewer up in here. Hey, are you one, Craig? Did you finally log in or something? No. Hmm. Craig's one. I'm one. I'm You're one. Two. There's another one. And one member makes three. Awesome. Woo. Woo woo. Hey. Hey, our one viewer. <clears throat> Buddy, how's it going? We're looking for something to play, so if you have anything in mind, let us know. We also don't have video tonight because I look like shit. I mean, I don't know I why we've had... I had four people <laughs> ask me if I was sick today, which apparently is code for you look like shit. Fair enough. Or just, you know, your sound. Your voice makes... What? What? <laughs> what are you saying to me, Colin? <laughs> the fuck did you just say, Johnson? <laughs> I'll I'll go. Yeah. I'll, I'll show myself out. I'll show myself. Out. <laughs> Good contacts. Shit sucks if you've had men for like five days. I've had these in for a while, but no. I guess the men are they may need to be in there for a while. So are mine, but they still get like the the little itchy or like I don't even know if it's air under them or if it's I don't know. Yeah. It, vision gets blurry like all of us like that. And then it'll just go away. Hey, Mike, are you here tonight? I think I saw your name. Oh, hey, Obsidian, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's what? Obsidian? The logo. Oh. Is I think Obsidian, isn't it, Craig? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. A little square with a square inside of it. Yeah, that's uh, Square Onyx. <sighs> square Enix. Craig. What are you playing? Yeah. So let's talk about this week, last week, this last weekend. The Friday through Sunday... Uh, the 2016 uh, through the tw- 20, 
16th. Like the, like the 17th? 17th through the 19th. Yeah. Of October, September, August. So, September. us as a group, as of, as the holder, we went to Dallas to Fan Expo. Woo! Um, me and Craig have been several times before. This was um, Porter and Johnson's first Ex- ever e- con. Yeah, ever. I've yeah. never been to one. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It uh, was. Speaking of which, <laughs> GameCube. Have you looked at the Abilene Comic Con? Uh, not really. No. It's they do have two people mm-hmm. listed as guests. Okay. From Jujutsu Kaisen. Have you ever watched it? Mm-mm. It's good. It's a good, uh, good anime. Um, check it out. It's pretty much this dude eats a finger of a dead soul every time to get powerful. It, it it's a thing. It's good. That sounds amazing. It, it's big. I don't. I'm, it's weird. You haven't heard of it. I'm not really big into anime. I think we've established this. You true. watch Dragon Ball Z, abridged. Uh, so, <laughs> kind of low key cannibalism. How is it low key? I feel like it's straight up cannibal cannibalism. It's, they're not human fingers because there's like fifteen of them. Okay. So it's a good. There's a talking panda. <laughs> okay, there's that talking that panda only sells me on it. Yeah, it should. It's what got me. <laughs> I mean, anyway, two of the actor or two of the uh, voice actors are going to be in Abilene. Cool. And that's the only guest they have listed. Well, it is Abilene versus Dallas. I know, but I feel like they could have gotten like somebody. Like the Red Ranger. The Red Ranger one time went to San Angelo and he was the headliner there. Didn't he, like, mug somebody or break into houses? No. Or was that, like, a stunt double? I don't know what you're talking about. What? There was a stunt double from one of the gra- one of the Power Rangers. I want to say Green, who broke into houses. Nope. I don't recall that He's at all. He's on Google it now. There was an extra on the show that murdered somebody. Uh... <clears throat> In a horrible way. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Like tied weight, tied them up, tied weights to their feet, and threw them off of a boat while they were still alive. So mafia. Nope, just a fucking psychopath. He just stole their boat and decided that's how he's going to kill them. Um, yeah, Johnson is drunk already, <laughs> um, which is crazy. You can tell. <clears throat> So anyways, so we went to this con, um, had some pretty cool things. Um, I was a little disappointed going because a lot of the main people I wanted to see um, canceled. We didn't get to see Brendan Fraser. Um, Mario Lopez wasn't there. Which, I mean. Um, yeah, I really wanted to meet him. Oh, okay. Um, but we had a really good time. Let's see. Sunday. Not Sunday. Ooh, back that up. Friday. We went and we saw William Shatner, Christopher Sabat first. Chris Sabat, yeah. yeah. Which I always enjoy his panel. He's good. He's funny. He, he voices Vegeta, mm-hmm. All Might, mm-hmm. Piccolo, everybody else, everything. Yeah. Um. Fruit baskets, fruits basket. You're always into fruit. You're talking about fruit basket a lot I don't, this weekend. I never mentioned Fruit Basket. What was that one you kept talking about that was like that movie we watched? Basket Case. Oh, whatever. That that was an 80s movie. (laughs) A shitty 80s movie. This is a popular anime from... Oh, so he watches little girl animes? I've never seen it. Shots thrown, I guess. I don't don't know. They're throwing shots now? Mike is... I mean, you got to find a way to have conversation with little girls anyway, so. I had, mm, I, and then we went and watched William Shatner. 
yeah. which uh, was okay. It was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, uh, yeah. I did not know what to expect going into I didn't that. know what he was talking about. I, I think he was actually talking over like your head. actual science shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he I was... thought it'd be just like conspiracy theories and Star Trek. <laughs> but like he actually, I mean, they were throwing some big things. They're having like some really deep philosophical discussions yeah. and stuff. It was it was entertaining. And then, oh, but before all of this, which at Coleman, I don't know even know if you remember, before we even got to the con, we went and did an escape room. We did the Poe one, right? No. Oh. No. First mm. one we did was the pirate one. That's right, where but I kept you yelling were, at Yes, the- Coleman was wasted. We go <laughs> do this. Um, it had been a long road trip. Yeah. Two hours. And uh, so we're in this, and it's a really awesome escape room. Um, the room's done nicely, and your host is actually costumed. And I mean, they're what? Did, what does she call them? Like they're specific to the room. Like she cast. No, well, it, it was something host. Cast, but it was like uh, deckhand or something like something, that. But like she was dressed in pirate garb. Like there was a whole script like she was an actor yeah for the room and uh um, very nicely done it was, it was and coleman was drunk I was. and every single time he'd get mad or frustrated he'd just yell fuck really I, really loud directly at her i and, never yelled at her i yelled her face. But one time in her direction never directed toward her but it was like okay tell them one time <laughs> so we were asking for a hint, and she's like, gave us the hint, which turns out it was because Coleman had taken a prop and, like, whatever. Anyways, oh, the sword, the and sword. I didn't understand it. Yeah, and you're like, you, you take it, you... And then you're like, like, right in her, fuck! And she's like, okay, so... <laughs> but later on, Coleman doesn't remember any of this. I we're like, don't. you were yelling at the lady, and he's like... What? No. I, wasn't, I was not. I wouldn't do that. Uh, you did. We were all <laughs> right there. That's exactly what just happened. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, which was great. But we won that one. We did. Yeah. And then we went, skip a couple days, skip a day. Mm hmm. We went to an Edgar Allan Poe themed escape room. Yes. And the same. <laughs> Woman, the same, the same, the same woman is taking our. Uh, She's checking us in. Checking this us time. in. And so I apologize. Which is very big of you. Yeah. I I was like, huh. I was expecting you just to pretend you didn't know her or anything. Why would I I've never seen her before. I don't know. I was drunk on both occasions. I'm not <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but you're a whole lot less drunk for Poe. That's true. Yeah. I didn't yell fuck. No, and you actually help during the whole thing. Um, and I was like, "Look, I'm, I'm, I've been told. I yell at you, and I apologize." <laughs> and she was very nice about it. Yeah, she, she uh, was very nice. Said, "I don't remember that specifically, but yeah. if you, I remember y'all being a fun group." Yeah, she did say that. And of course, this is her job, and she's getting paid to be nice. That's true. Yeah. But and if you had, uh, she goes. I remember the bad ones or something like that's that. That's true. Like specifically. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all were a fun group it means a bad thing or. But um, then we did what quite possibly might have been the best escape room that I've ever done. The Poe one. The Poe one. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was, it was, it was really amazing. Good. Which we also crushed it. it. That might be why it was so good. To, I like thirty-five it so much. minutes. Yeah. Or thirty-six, something like that. Um, but it was awesome. There were secret, like little tunnels, tunnels and hiding secret things. Tunnels. Secret, secret tunnel. Um, it was really an awesome escape room. Lots of fun. It had this whole spooky vibe to it, which was really cool. Very I loved gothic how gothic horror theme. Yeah. It too also had like a specific host that um, appeared in a mirror. Like she was a ghost. Yeah, I thought that was really smart how they did that. Yeah, and um, the whole thing was really good. Um, so I just, if you guys live in the Metroplex area or ever around there, check or out within an hour drive. <laughs> it's yeah worth it um, honestly. 
the Secret Chambers is the um, the name of the group that puts these on. They're not a large, huge um, like uh, chain or anything like Two that. They're just yeah, they're yeah. just located in the Metroplex, from what I understand. But they do a phenomenal job. Yeah, um, it is. Me and Craig have done several of their rooms. Yeah. I don't think there's been a bad room. <clears throat> no, they've all been really great. Um, they've, they're coming out here in the next few months with Area 51. Yeah. And then after that is Dragon Dun- Dragon's Dungeon, mm-hmm. which fucking psyched for. Yes. Um, both of those. And then there's one called like Atlantis, yes. I think, way later, which would be fun. So we were definitely super impressed with that place. It was good. So Saturday rolls around, and um, what do we go do Saturday? We went and saw. Friday, it was Friday night. What do we do Friday night? Malignant. Oh, I forgot. I was trying to forget. <laughs> How could forget? you forget the masterpiece that is Malignant? <laughs> Okay, so James Wan has directed a movie, a masterpiece. (laughs) James Wan, the director of Saw. Mm -hmm. James Wan, the director of... uh, Insidious? Is he the Insidious? I think he's the director of Insidious. Inception. No. um, Condensation. It feels like Insidious because that movie was also shit. Really? Craig doesn't like scary movies, period. Craig doesn't like scary movies. Amber, that movie was trash, and you know it. Insidious was not trash. Is that the one with the fucking aliens at the end? No. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> oh, Hereditary. Hered- what? Hereditary oh, shit. I do agree. I hated Hereditary. Hereditary's good. It's fucking It's too garbage. artsy for you, <laughs> yeah, you to <laughs> understand, Craig. It's and beyond, Amber. It's beyond your... No, um, dancing on tabletops and taking too many shots. That was Saturday night. Uh, I didn't dance. <laughs> I fell off a table. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we watched right. we watched Malignant, which is the newest James Wan movie. Um, it's on HBO Max. If you want to give it a shout don't. out, um, I I don't know. It was it, terrible. Hey, don't we went to Alamo Draft House. Always we enjoy did. that. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I slept through most of it. <laughs> you go through the snoring over there. <laughs> I, was, I was hungover and cranky. I was a you cr- were cranky. I was a cranky. A lot sailor. of the <laughs> a cranky sailor. You were a cranky sailor. You were hungover for like most of the um, most of the Friday <laughs> and Saturday. You're just so Saturday was okay. You were even at breakfast. You were like. It's true. You were. Oh, because I was hungover. <laughs> you were a bit of my a point piece. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And Coleman kept doing this thing all weekend. Oh my god! I wanted to kill him. What would I do? So I'm like, hey, we have a choice. <laughs> Any choice. It doesn't matter. So we one of the choices was, um, do we want to walk to Alamo Draft House or do we want to take an Uber? <laughs> And Coleman's over there whining about he doesn't want to walk and he's blah, 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 I'm fat. and all this stuff. I'm like, okay, great. So I'm like, hey, I'll I'll do an Uber. And um, so I'm sitting there, I'm setting up the Uber. And as soon as I get done, like I actually hit submit, like I want the Uber. And he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's walk. And I mean, if that had happened one time, okay. But every single time, or like, hey guys, what do you want to eat? Everybody's like, you know, no one says anything. So we all agree. Let's go eat Chinese. Coleman goes, I really want Italian. That like, was a good idea. That well, wasn't that night, though. That was that night. But oh. every single decision, <laughs> every single time, that's how it went down. I don't remember. And then, whichever like one we did, like the Uber, like the Uber, go back to that. So we get an Uber. It was nice, Uber. Dude was nice, no problem. Yeah, no. Takes us to the movie place. So that, you know, Coleman doesn't have to walk the whole time. We should have fucking taken an Uber. It took too long, like, just grabbed about no, the whole oh. time. No, yeah. I, no, the only thing I said was, oh, this wasn't too far. Wouldn't be too far of a walk. <laughs> no. No. That's, that's the only thing I remember saying. Nope. Well, we're waiting on it. You're like, oh. Like going on and on about it. I don't belong in big cities. He's a country boy. I'm not a country boy. He's, a, a, c- he's a... 
a couch boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, We're pretty much that was my event on Coleman for the weekend. Yeah. Okay, that's, so we went and watched it. this movie. Movie. Coleman it. later tried to pin on me, saying it was my idea. And then I remember that I had started to watch it with my wife, uh-huh. and then we didn't watch it because it it got like we started at like nine o'clock. Oh, so so late. ten o'clock ran around, and we we're like, eh, this movie isn't sucks. Great. It's let's go to bed. So the exactly, premises. Mike. Exactly, it was crap. That's it, why. <laughs> yeah. But then he forgets that it's crap. I did. And so he talks all of us into go watching it. <laughs> because it's the newest horror movie from James Wan. And everybody trusts that. I don't even know who James Wan is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Saw. Saw what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? Fuck. You th- you would have think you would have saw that coming. I think the proper terminology is seen it coming. You saw it. I, I should have seen it. <laughs> but you saw what happened. Anyway. <laughs> so it's... it's This guy, fuck this guy. It's too smooth. What's too Wait, smooth? What? The <laughs> The camera shots. No, it's really not. It's garbage. The whole thing, top <laughs> well, to bottom, is trash. It's pretentious is what it, it is. is pretent- it is extremely pretentious. If I was like, you know, 26 and a fan of movies, I might be, you know, talking about how smooth the movie was. But <laughs> <laughs> it like was, the, it the was the a over, shit The movie. overhead it, shot that you thought you liked, I thought was dumb. I like how he said that you thought you liked. I, <laughs> like you shouldn't have liked it, but you, but you thought you but did. You thought you did, and that was dumb. I, I stand by that. I think I'd like it. Um, you don't. It's it's a fucking mess of a movie. Honestly, it so much going on, but it's all this one thing that's happening. Her mom gets kidnapped. Her biological mother gets kidnapped. And it you don't know that until the very end. So and turns yeah. out. Yeah, we should probably start spoilers. Off by saying spoilers. spoilers cause everything, because Johnson won't be able to edit anything. So I'm not editing this. Oh, it's live, so you can't. Oh, I mean, okay. edit yourself. Oh, yeah, no. Um, gets kidnapped from, like, I don't know, the what is it, Atlanta? Amber? She gets kidnapped from Atlanta? It's it's like the the city that has the city under it. It was Seattle. Atlantis? Seattle? It was Seattle. Sure. Google me. I don't want to. So Seattle. She's in the under 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 city of Seattle. It's like the tour guide, whatever. And So it's smooth brain movie. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And mm. then she falls through. She falls. Two story house. Mm hmm. She takes a step and falls through two stories. Oh. Uh, you know what, Coleman? I watched this show with you and I'm having a hard time following <laughs> no. you. When she escapes the, the, the I, attic. I, uh, yeah. And then yeah. she steps on the. On the, on the like takes a step on the on the on the attic ceiling floor. Oh fuck me! God damn it! So, anyways, it's a movie. It's a um, movie. It's supposed to have some amazing twist at the end. We all knew what the twist was. Like probably five minutes into the movie, it um the the angles of it was like you could tell that um someone pretentious shot it. Yeah, they were trying to be artsy with it, but it just yeah. came off as pretentious to us. Um. The, Give it a shot, though. There were a lot of um, holes or awkwardness into in the plot or in the dialogue. Um, oh, the dialogue was terrible. Yeah. Um, and and I don't know this. I mean, because usually I can get um, out of like because I mean I get it. Everything's not going to be medically 
like how it is in real life. You know what I mean? Like I, right. I get that. But when they're cutting the tumor out and like, they it, just shove it back in. It was so ridiculous. Like what they were saying was <laughs> medically capable of happening. I just, it, I mean, it really was. Craig literally laughed out loud at how ridiculous the whole That's thing true. was. I yeah. mean, not as, haha, this is funny, because it was supposed to be a serious, scary yeah. part. But it was just is, ridiculous. This is dumb. <laughs> yeah. uh, like I said, I feel like, for like what, 30 minutes an hour? Uh, yeah. I don't know. You, I think you were falling asleep during the whole thing. Yeah. Just like on and off. And we were there because of Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. You would never have this experience. What was the other thing like? The Mar- Marvel. What Marvel? was the other? What was the other movie? Oh, we going the rings. By the night, ten or? rings. Uh, we're bouncing all over the place. Apparently. No, 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 no. I mean, like that night option. Mm. We didn't have any other one. We were waiting to go see Candyman, but um, it had it was too late. We didn't get yeah. to watch it. Yeah. So it's not my fault. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Or we could have just stayed at the hotel and mm. played D and D. Bar again. Uh, nah. Um. Again. Uh, for the first time. Saturday sure. rolls around. Saturday rolls around. We go eat breakfast at this place. Oh. Saturday roll around. Oh. Rut row. It, which was really oh my gosh, it was a great place. It was a good place. Um, yeah. breakfast was amazing. Um. Texas Spice, I think it's called. Yeah, Texas Spice. And um, Omni. Me and Craig stayed at the Omni because it's connected to the convention center. And me and Porter stayed at the Holiday Inn because it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Um, but <laughs> one of the best things we loved about usually staying at the Omni, because like we've been at this convention a lot of times, is mm-hmm. there's all these amazing restaurants right there. And, and they, weren't they weren't there this year. Yeah. A lot of them were closed, uh, which yeah. was very disappointing. There was a Mexican food place that was okay. It, it was all right. It yeah. had the same silverware. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Coleman was fascinated by the silverware it, this weekend. Why would they have the same silverware? Because it's all under the same company. So it's cheaper to buy one pattern of silverware than it is five different patterns of silverware. But I feel like if they're trying to differentiate what? similarness. I don't think they are. Okay. I... Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Um. You okay, Craig? I'm trying to figure out what word you just said. He's differentiate the similarities? Oh, that... Okay. Differentiate. That's a word. Differentiate. The first time was a Amber word. heard me. <laughs> you... You people heard me, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. The only one that's out there is Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. Mike's been talking to us. Mike people heard me, right? He said, so M. Night Shamaha. Yeah. He goes, what do you mean by you people? (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean, you people? He means what you meant. I meant meant the non-racial way. This... This breakfast place, amazing. It was good. Um, they had like an omelet bar. Really good waffles. Amazing waffles. Um, apparently, you could order pancakes and all the French toast you wanted. We didn't figure that out till the second day. Yeah. Because oh our waiter. <laughs> our waiter was on crack. Rick without a K. Rick. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> was on crack. And he was like, you didn't have to eat at the buffet. They did have a menu. That's true. But he comes to our table, throws a bunch of coffee cups at us. He's like pouring You you want coffee? You want coffee? Okay, you got coffee. Coffee's free with the buffet. And then it just walks off. (laughs) And I'm like, I wanted a mimosa, but fuck that. I didn't get one. You didn't. You probably shouldn't have gotten a mimosa. Yeah, looking back on that, wasn't good. Yeah. Um, But, I mean, this buffet was amazing. There were three different kinds of honey. Or syrup or whatever. Yeah, There's like a jalapeno. It was really good. Um, like these different flavors of sausage. Really, really bougie. Um, Blueberry buffet. sausage. Yeah, it like just tastes like um, sweet sausage to me. It, yeah. And then they had chicken, and they had regular, mm-hmm. which all three were good. Yeah. And the bacon was good, and the eggs were. Fruit was good. Good. It was good omelet, stuff. Omelet was good. 
Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. I guess so. I think Porter was the only one who got omelette. Yeah. He said it was But those waffles, I don't know what they put in those waffles. It's Belgian. Holy fuck. They put Belgians good. in them? They put a Belgian seasoning in it. I don't know, man. So like And then then they had this crowd? cinnamon butter shit you could put that, on it. Oh, uh, I mean you can get that. I know, but just the combination. <laughs> Fucking buffet, man. It was awesome. It really was. It was like 30 <laughs> bucks a person. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> really was. <laughs> but, yeah, I think but, that's right, yeah. But you yeah. know, you know. It was all good. Free uh, coffee. <laughs> free coffee with the buffet. <laughs> says Rick. Says Rick. And then you'll never Rick. see him again. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> we had to track him down for more coffee. <laughs> yeah. hey, and they weren't that busy. No, no. Like it wasn't like a he I'm just sure didn't they want to were see more us. busy than they usually are because of the con. Mm -hmm. But they've got like conventions. But even so, it weekly. was a buffet. Yeah. Like, all you do is take care of drinks and clear plates. That's all you do. Uh, unless other places... Un uh, well, Rick's tables, I bet you were ordering off the menu. Yeah. They wouldn't give them a chance. No. No. Anyways, awesome breakfast. Then we went and watched... Me and Craig went and watched... Um, uh, Zach Morris. Oh, yeah. Stay by the Bell. Yeah. How was that? Mark Paul. What's his last name, Craig? Gosler. That's right. Mark Gosler. Mm-hmm. Mark Paul Glasser. Mark Paul, he's a, he's a two first name. Oh. Okay. Like um, no Patrick Harris. Yeah. Okay. But about the third first name. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, he was really good. Is a first name. Yeah. He um he was pretty good. He was um. He's a pretty. He's kind of a reserved guy, which I knew that going in. Um. Like there's there's been a lot of interviews and stuff with him about how he's like the complete opposite of Zach Morris. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's Is he? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, he's more reserved, kinda shy. Um but but he still he was pretty genuine, um, great conversation. Um, was really good. You guys went and watched Me and Porter went to watch uh Billy West. The voice of such characters as Fry from Futurama, um, Professor Farnsworth from Futurama, Zordberg from Futurama. Everyone from Futurama. Fucking a whole bunch of shit. Doug? Um, Doug, which from, I grew up from, with. From Dig Doug, though. What? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Um, Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, he did Ren Which I never watched. I wasn't really? Allowed, I wasn't allowed to. I wasn't either, but I figured somehow you would like it. Okay. Uh, the only thing I was could get in was that was like the first two hours because then I'd fall asleep. Just like South Park and mm -hmm. Family Guy. Anyway. Fucking hilarious, dude. Mm -hmm. he's, he's really good. Uh, he would just go into voices. Mm -hmm. Answering questions and shit. It was great. He did Zoidberg and all of them. I was happy with that. He was he's a good dude. Um I don't you know, I, I might be skipping ahead, but you know, we went went and also watched Twisted Tunes, which is when a bunch of the voice actors read a script and they read it in all these different um characters, characters or and impersonations. Stuff, which has always been one of my favorite things. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And they're hilarious. And sometimes they go off script and then they make up this whole other narrative and stuff. And um For the life of me I can't remember Squidward. Oh, what's his real name? Yeah. I don't I don't know. We had the doo doo voice Squidward. Mm -hmm. The doo doo voiced uh Finn, Jeremy Shada. Mm hmm Um Billy West and Nolan Nolan no North. Nolan North. That was great because they did Rocky. Yes, and it was just oh, it was so good. It was. I, I think everyone was just dying laughing. Yeah. Um, that's usually one of my favorite things we do at any when we go to these as con. Yeah. Um, because they're just it's hilarious. Um, voice actors for the most part, like most of the panels, I think there's only been one panel that I didn't really like of a voice actor. It was Goku. Who was it? <clears throat> I say it, Sean Schimmel. Nobody's watching. But like, this will come again. Nah. 
Craig's already said it. Sean Shemmel. Oh, it's Goku. He sucks. Goku, really? Yeah, he's a pretentious prick. So we liked Malignant. He probably would. He probably would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's just, it's so funny, like, because we watched one with him and Chris, um, Sabat, because it was Goku and Vegeta panel thing. Oh. And, like, the difference between the guys was just so crazy. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's just something about his panels just I don't really care for. Um, but most of the voice actor, most of the panels I've been with voice actors, I really enjoy. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just, um, I don't know. I don't know if they tend to, it comes off more genuine and, um, like they're enjoying what they're doing. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, to be a voice actor, you kind of have to, like, it's not from what I've gathered. It's not, you're hired for this specifically. Mm-hmm. It's you're part of a uh, company, and they just bring you in, say these lines. Mm-hmm. Here's the picture, the character you're going to be doing. All right, get the fuck out. Oh no, no, American Goku. Uh, Japanese Goku is actually voiced by an 80 year old woman, yeah. who I don't have never met, but I've seen videos of her doing Goku, and it's way impressive. <laughs> Um, but yeah. no, Sean Schimmel is, um, American Goku. Yeah, and he's kind of a douchebag. But anyway, sorry. Uh, that's all I had. But no, I, I agree with what you're, yeah, yeah, what you're saying. That's why, like, if you, a couple of times that they were asked about a character and they had to, like, think about what they did, mm-hmm. because they didn't specifically... In, or not interview, but like try out for that character. Right. They were picked out first, and then they just went to the room, shown the picture, be like, "Hey, do a voice for this," and then you know did three hundred lines of dialogue. Coleman, who's that? Lou, is that? Are you saying that I can't read? Lou Frigno. Lou Frigno. Lou Frigno. Yeah. Right. Oh, he wasn't cool. Mike, I feel like he would be cool. I thought he would be cool too. Yeah, that kind of breaks my deaf, heart a little bit. I, I don't. I think he's just big Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, like he's partially deaf. He might be. Like I his whole know. thing. I don't know. He it's might. His be. whole thing is being partially deaf. Uh, God damn. Not being humongous. And the or Hulk. the Incredible Hulk. He's like, only like six three, isn't he? I have no idea. I don't. I don't seven. care. Listen, dude. If he played the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> You can before, be whatever. Before CGI, <laughs> you're a big man. Fighting the bear. <laughs> oh, he says, Mike says that he was kind of an asshole, but it was at a comic con. Oh, so. really? That I don't sucks. know, man. I don't know. That kind of sucks. It's really kind of disappointing at these things because sometimes we meet people and we are um, wholly disappointed. You know, they're they're not who you thought they were, or um, it just feels, I don't know, it, it just doesn't... Disingenuous? Yeah. yeah, and you're just like, you know, I mean, there's people that I, were, I was huge fans of, and then, then I'm like, I don't even really want to watch their movies anymore. Hmm. Just because, you know, I'm like... That's why they said never meet your heroes. Yeah, but then we've, we've met people that we have just absolutely... Um, been so impressed with and like you know um and like now watch well i like it the one that i think of the most is um yes oh he's great he that was one of the best cons i've ever been in and he is such a good person and so genuine and just he loved being there and he loved talking to people he made a show about comic cons yeah and um and i think it is yeah. We we kind of touched briefly on it when we saw Adam Sa- the last end of Adam Savage, because he does he does do a TED talk about um, cosplay and nerd culture and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. and I think some of the celebs get it, and they understand what this means to people, and some don't. No, yeah, you know, that's true. and they just see it as a way to make money, and you know, a bunch of nerds and like I don't know, I I don't think they're comfortable with it. Um. But um, but anyways, but that that's disappointing because I always thought he was a nice guy. I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed it. I guess 
don't know. He hadn't really done much <laughs> since. Hulk. Well, he was in um, he was in King of Queens. Wasn't he like the neighbor in King of Queens? Yeah. Anyway, I like Kevin James. Yeah, and Therefore, I guess like I just Luke assumed. You thought, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, shit happens. Yeah, that makes me disappointed. People are assholes. So, anyways, uh, we watched that. We watched one, um, but we were kind of far away, and it was kind of chaotic. We really didn't get to get a whole lot of um, My Hero Academia. They had like a like almost the whole cast up there. Oh yeah, it was <clears> so everybody. Chaotic. Yeah. It was, yeah. A little chaotic. Um, Bakugo. Yeah. A lot funnier than I expected. Really? Why, yeah. Bakugo's hilarious. He's, like, <clears throat> I don't even remember what he it was. It was like a question toward, uh, dude who did uh, Midoriya. Mm. And just immediately, the guy, Bakugo, just... No. <laughs> just <laughs> talk for him. Yeah, just in Bakugo's voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bakugo, there's a sense of underlining humor with that character. Yeah. Yeah. And so you probably have to have a sense of humor to understand that and get that. Yeah. And maybe that's what, you know, cuz I don't know. I'm not going to go back to beating that dead horse, never mind. Oh, the Goku dead horse? Beat that horse. <laughs> well, there's whip it good. Goku, there is no humor there. It's just it's so bland. I don't know. Not that I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z or person. Dragon Ball Z a bridge was. It was hilarious. Yeah. But I'm not like. I mean, I can't like sit here and quote it and tell you all about all this stuff. But just from what I've seen of it, probably my least favorite character of the whole thing is Goku. Because he's an idiot. He's a horrible person. Yeah. <laughs> um. But Craig has informed me that he was written that way. Yeah, in Japanese, uh, the Japanese interpretation of him is he's supposed to be kind of a piece He's of not shit supposed to be a good person. Nerd. Yeah. Um, Which I'm like, they, the casting uh, then is great because, you know. What? what? I did the thing you're looking for, Johnson. What? From a dr- DBZ abridged when they call him nerd and go on's like, what? Every single time. <laughs> Do they do that in Dragon Ball Z Abridged? So anyways, moving on. Uh, what else we do? Then Saturday night we went, and that's when we did Poe. Oh, we, we did Poe, yeah. Yeah, and then we went and found this uh, sushi place, which was fucking phenomenal. Oh my god, yeah. Some of the best fried rice. Your and shrimp fried just, rice. It, it, it was amazing. <laughs> it was incredible. But it was a strip strip mall sushi place. It was, but like right next to a Walmart. <laughs> was it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. It was. Yeah, um, but like it was so astonishing. The food was fucking amazing. It was. The and then sushimi is that called? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, it was we got so a love good. Boat for two. Um. What? Yes, we did, Craig. Oh yeah, they got a love boat for two. And then um. We. We we did. Yes, All we did. Us. We we did. And Porter was there. Yeah. He Porter got, watched. He got soup. <laughs> <laughs> Porter watched. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, he wasn't hungry that night. What did? No. Or did he get? Nah, he drank all your nasty sake. He did. So me and Craig, um, talking about the really good uh, sushi place where we normally eat at that's over there by the hotel that was closed, they have the sake that we've had a really hard time finding anywhere else. It's peach and amazing. It is, <sighs> yeah, it is. the cold. most incredible. Yeah, it's I've incredible. Never had cold sake. We, ha- we drank three bottles that night. Yeah. All us together. Yeah. And... um. Anyways, they had it there. So good. Um, everything there was just amazing. It just I I poured so I had a I had a glass of water. Mm-hmm. And so I drank all the water and just poured my bottle of sake <laughs> into the glass of <laughs> I just sipped on it like it ice. was water. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. It was so good. But yeah, and then um, I think we went back to the we went back to the hotel. Yeah. We drank some more. 
Yeah. Then we oh, went yeah, down. Oh yeah, that to, was that night. Yeah. yeah. And then we went down to the hotel bar, which was closed. But then we went to the sports bar that was connected to the hotel. Yeah. And uh, Craig spotted a hooker. I did. Uh, escort, but she was a good looking hooker. Escort. Escort. It's Dallas. Mm-hmm. And Omni, so I don't think hookers are allowed there. Just well, escorts. the cop sure was on her. <laughs> There was a cop just like five feet away, away from, from her, her. Just, 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 just hanging just out. out. <laughs> yeah. Um, had some laughs down there. Oh, that dude was lonely though. You could tell. Aww. It was, it was in his eyes. Takes one to no one. Anyways, deep <sighs> conversation, bonding, all that fun stuff yeah, happened that night. Yeah. Good night. Um, woke up the next morning, went back down. Hungover as fuck. To our, uh, our breakfast spicy, buffet. Spicy food. No, spicy Texas. Texas spice. Texas spice. There we go. And had more of our buffet. I finally got a mimosa. Oh man, so we're just sitting there hanging out at the table. Um, Craig and Coleman go to the buffet and Porter's decided he wants to eat off the menu that day. And I was going to get a mimosa. And so we sat at the table waiting for our waiter. And we're just hanging out, sitting there. <clears throat> and this lady comes by and she's like, um, has your waiter, you know, has he been by? And we're like, no, we're just waiting. And she's like, oh, okay. <clears throat> and she stands there and then calls this kid over. On a walkie talkie? No, like she's like, like, like out, like, oh. Oh, like come over. Oh my God. So he's like, stops what he does, he's doing, he comes over and she's like, um, your table is waiting and they would like water and coffee, which we never said that. Oh my God. And coffee's not free. So she just ordered shit for us. So, yeah. and made it sound like we had, re- were like being the assholes. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, which, which I could see, I could see you doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amber. <laughs> it hurt my soul. I wanted to be like, apologize and tell him no. Dude, we we go wait. back to what you were doing. We don't want fine. water or coffee. What are you thinking? How dare you put this on our table? I wanted mimosa. Don't make me call her back <laughs> over here again. I, I felt like the biggest dipshit. This poor kid. This Is lady just manager? did that. Go get her. Is that your manager I just talked to about you? Do I need to talk to her again? Oh, that was horrible. Don't make me. I hated it. I assume you're going to comp this water on our on our tab. $13 water. It's $13 water. <laughs> oh, that mimosa was pretty good, though. That I'm not a huge I'm not a huge fan of champagne. Champagne. Mm-hmm. Whatever, you it was liquor, you drink it. It's not liquor, it's a wine. It's same thing. Alky it's booze and you drank it. Oh, we totally forgot to talk about going to the liquor store. <laughs> oh, oh yes. God. Oh, my God. Oh. So we walked to the liquor store, what was it, Saturday morning? Mm. Yeah, Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we came up with the idea to get flasks so we could yeah. take booze into the Comic-Con where it wasn't allowed. Yeah, it's just a great idea. It was. Yeah, it was. I had a great I didn't time. Get any. Well, that was your fault. We offered you several times and you didn't take it. Because they had true. these, they had these pina colada smoothie that things. Was, where's my cup? Actually. I threw it away. It was gross. Anyways, they had these pina colada smoothie <laughs> things that were bomb. They were so they were, good. Were like, I don't know, pina colada. <laughs> cold. <laughs> they were good. That yeah. It was really good. And we had Malibu, so I was spiking it up. Yeah. We also forgot to say on Saturday we took a time to go down to the gaming area. Um, the and we just um, got there. We were looking at doing um, D and D, but uh, this guy came over. Anyways, they were starting a game with um, Star Wars. I think I was the one who said like, "Hey, let's check out Star Wars." Yeah, it was totally Coleman's idea. Yeah. Um. And we played Star Wars. Uh. I don't know. But it actually wasn't bad. One yeah, it was like. not a bad system. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it, it was a little slow because we were all learning. Yeah, and we had no idea. And, and I think our I poor... Like uh, yeah, I think our poor GM was kind of learning the system a lot yeah, too. Yeah, I don't think he was super comfortable with it. He even said, like, hey, I don't own any of the books. I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. But we still had a good time. It was still fun. Yeah, good dude. Um, Craig was a Wookiee, so he only <laughs> did that. <laughs> and it was great because he didn't talk. And for whatever reason, if you take Craig out of, outside of the D&D 5E gaming system, he sucks. Yeah. Bad, and it was wonderful. Yeah, it was good seeing that. Um, that made me happy. Yeah. That was probably the happiest moment ever. I can maybe. take it or leave it. Ever. I mean, not just as a con, maybe of my life. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> um, and the ki- and the kid we were playing with, we had another kid at the table with us, and he wasn't bad either. No. Um, he was a smart kid. I'm glad to know y'all enjoyed um, my failure. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad to know you guys enjoy my failure. Yeah. Good, we we said that multiple times. Yeah, I know. Glad. Glad you picked up on it. Yeah. Good. That's good. Thanks. And and then we tried this other system. Same oh, day. Same day or was, was it? It, it was Sunday. the same day. Was it same day? Yeah. Oh. I'm not doing that because it was like. Oh, that's right. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go back. Yeah. So we were going. We came back down. That was kind of in the morning s time, right? Yeah, it was before before lunch or whatever, yeah, yeah. and then um, then we went and got lunch at so Farmers Street. Market. Yeah, yeah farmers we went to market. that Farmers Market. Man. Oh my God! Me and Craig and Porter all got shawarma. I got shawarma after. Eventually, um, shawarma was amazing. It was yeah, so it was good. good. Um, Coleman went. Something wrong happened. Something happened, and it was cold. Something wrong happened. My <laughs> ham or pork and noodle bowl was cold. Not just cold. Raw. It was raw. And he was eating it. He was eating the raw I, meat. I thought it was like a sashimi thing <laughs> yeah. with ham. And then he like Pork's eats it a couple so- times, and he's like, like I, no, I'm I, not I can't hungry. do it. I don't. But then you ended up getting some shawarma. Yeah. And it was which was good later on. Yeah. For that night when we were drinking. Yeah. Oh. The shawarma there was amazing. Um check it out. Yeah. The shawarma in Shawarma Dallas. if you ever go to the farmers market there in Dallas. Is that what it was? It was a market? Yeah. It said farmers market. Mm-hmm. Okay. And but it was this was like inside a building and there were like all these little food stalls and stuff. From I got boba. Mm-hmm. I love boba. And they had, oh my God, they had um, Caribbean food there. Yeah. They had um, that. Um, there was sushi. We eventually went there for sushi because there was a sushi bar in there. That's the reason we walked there, but they were all out of sushi or they weren't serving or something. The lady turned us away. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we walked like two miles. Yeah, because Coleman didn't want to take an Uber for whatever could- reason right before I ordered it. I think it was like we walked through some sketchy parts of town. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So saucy was on a trash or on a saucy. Oh, no saucy! He was on a garbage can. Yeah, <laughs> saucy. <laughs> um, that's Johnson's male stripper friend. Saucy J. It's his render. That's his name. That happened. That could be purple. Anyway. It was it was a weird part of Dallas. Um, we didn't see the dude from the the liquor store who we didn't mention. Yeah, we still haven't talked about that. Um, we went to go get um, flasks. The flask. We are all over. The we place. are <laughs> because it was because you are leading it. Both of us are drunk. That's yeah, true. Um, <clears throat> so this dude, he okay. The the bell rings. Somebody just entered, and I just hear. <laughs> Describe it. I don't you know do if you can noise. without doing the noise, um, which it hurts do it. me to do it. I can't even imagine how to do that noise. It's so loud. I can't do the noise. It was a man grinding his teeth. I don't know if you never heard that. that I did before. it. And like bad grinding. Oh my God. Yeah, it's constantly. It's... We were on the other side of the liquor store, mm-hmm. and I could hear it, and I thought it was like a vending machine that was fucked up. <laughs> Like, it was that loud. It was really loud. And then he decided he wanted to be our friend. Yeah. He started mm-hmm. talking to me about, I don't know. And Coleman's just sitting there like, ha ha, yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. Weird. 
fucking weird. Yeah, I know. Weird Dallas how, can get. Weird how nature make that. <laughs> weird how nature make that. I gotta go. <laughs> um, good to meet you. Like that kind of shit. Yeah. Because you know, I'm <laughs> a, coming into a studio is highly uncomfortable. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Are you though? No. Um. So, anyways, that happened there. Yeah, um, that was fun. But we went through Dallas, went to the market, we and then we paid there. twenty bucks for a golf cart to take us all <laughs> back to the um. <laughs> Money was well the spent. smartest thing ever. It is. Craig, it really we need is. to get us a golf cart and just do shit like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. I mean, that dude. He took us what two minutes, maybe, maybe, yeah, to get yeah. us to the Omni in his little golf cart. I remember Porter was like, flip. He flipped the car off. <laughs> And then we stopped at a stoplight, <laughs> and then he was like, just sitting there, just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm glad I didn't know that was going No, on. no, he didn't flip a car off. He was like, fuck you, uh, peasants, we're, we're in a golf cart, or something like that. <laughs> and then we stopped, and they just stared at us as they kept walking. He was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> <laughs> type of thing, like, hey. and then as soon as we kept driving, he was like, "Ha, ah, fuck you, peasants!" <laughs> <laughs> nice. But this guy, it literally two minutes, yeah, maybe, two minutes, maybe. maybe, and it's five bucks a person, twenty bucks, yeah. just like that. And he was, I mean, he was hopping the whole time. I'm like, this is the smartest thing ever. Yeah, don't I tell him how much he, money I'm, that guy made. I remember hearing like. Good conversation. He's like, "Where are y'all from?" Oh Abilene. yeah, me and Craig yeah. had a full. He's originally from Abilene. Yeah, and me and Craig had a full conversation with him. We were sitting up front, and you guys were on the back. Yeah, cause you know, fucking with peasants. Yeah. Apparently, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I said that. Ha! Sorry. Fuck you, peasants. Which, by the way, <laughs> let's talk about some peasants and shit. Oh no! So what are we? Uh, no, Whoa. no, I'm Bourgeoisie just teasing. Up in I'm here. just. Mm, mm, I'll ruin everything. I think it's called bougie now. So, me and Craig had VIP tickets for this thing. Oh, yeah. Um, And (laughs) we may not want to incriminate ourselves here. (laughs) And Porter and um, Coleman only had, like, general... day passes. Yeah. Like, weekend passes. Or whatever. But some some of the people, like, that one guy that was in front of the VIP thing, he knew y'all weren't VIP. He gave... Like he, yeah, he, he didn't he give didn't a shit, care. man. He's like, "Come on, guys!" Like he thought it was great. You're with them, cool. Oh, yeah. And then they took like this other part and like laid it in front of their ticket, so it looked like, like they were so VIP. Our, <laughs> our tickets, our tickets had two parts, but on yeah. the back of it, it would say VIP. But they had <laughs> they gave us this thing that was like the schedule for the convention. Yeah. But it also said VIP, so we just had so them I take that part and turn theirs around over the uh, over the. Your regular. tickets are like on a lanyard. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and both the lanyard things have a hole where you could just put one on top of the other. There you go. And just have it there. And that's like what we fucking did. That's what we had the entire time. And y'all got oh, the FP the everywhere. whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, nobody got onto you. One Ooh. lady came and said, "Hey, if you're not, can I see your VIP badges? Because we're having to kick the premiums out." And they showed them the back of their badges. And she's and like, like, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. true. She was the only one that was kind of on to you guys. But I think more than anything, what we got in trouble for wasn't the VIP. It was because Porter would not wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> just refused. <laughs> he just straight hey, up. Can, I, can you wear a mask? He'd just like start to put one on. They'd walk off. He'd just put it down. At one point, he had it on his forehead and yeah. was walking around that yeah. way. I mean, he was and technically wearing it. God. He fell asleep. <laughs> Uh-huh. In the uh oh. Matt Matthew Lewis. Uh-huh. Uh Neville Longbottom. Oh, uh, which I thought was a I mean, he, we're he, we're skipping ahead to Sunday, but it was a great I it thought was it was good. a great one. Yeah. I really but liked him. We'll go back to that. Um okay. Saturday. What else happened? Um Where are you uh, even? So we ate dinner at um Italian we went from restaurant. Breakfast getting liquor to dinner. Like it. Cool. So I <laughs> was like, okay, let's go for like a cheaper... Was it Italian restaurant on Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yeah, because it was right before Poe, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. It was Sunday night. Sunday night. Okay, Saturday night was... What did we do Saturday night? We didn't eat. We ate after Poe. Yeah, and that was yeah. a great sushi that, that you love so much. And then we went to the hotel. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, folks. So Sunday morning, meet back up, hotel, 
come pick y'all up because Porter's the only one with the car. Yeah. And finally get your mimosa. <laughs> yes. But that poor kid. <laughs> Which I drink. <laughs> yeah. I forget how much carbonation is in the mimosa. The fucking French toast. Fucking amazing. Amazing. Oh, it yeah. Good. It was it was good. It had like flakes. It was some sort of a crust. Yeah. That it was, was kind of like corn flakes, but, but like more refined, but better. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it was that, and then we went to uh, the con- convention. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so we went to the convention. Okay. <laughs> the first person we saw that day was. Um, Oh gosh, I'm having a blank. We were trying to see somebody, and either we Zach- just Zachary Levi. What? I thought we were trying to see somebody first. We wanted to see Adam Savage, That's but right. we we, we slept, slept in. in. <laughs> yeah, and we missed. Yeah. We only caught the end of his, and then um, then we went and watched Zachary Levi. Yeah, which I've seen him I, before. I, How did great. you? I you loved him. Yeah. yeah, good dude. Like he, he yeah. seems like he's genuine. Yeah. Like, he likes... He enjoys what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Like, he was a nerd before he became famous. Type yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Which, he was in Chuck. Um, y'all have never seen it. Apparently, that's something we need to watch. I watched it a long time ago. And I remember enjoying it. Um, of course, I also get Zachary Levi and... Uh, do from the office mixed up. Oh, uh, Jason Statham. No. No, not Jason. Anyways, that dude. He's married to Lim- Emily Blunt. Yeah. Quiet Place. Quiet Place. Yeah. yeah. That guy. I get them mixed up all the time. But now not so much. John Krasinski. John Krasinski. That's it. Yeah. Mainly the beard thing and the face thing and the... Generic white dude thing. Personality. Whoa. Whoa. Generic white dude. <laughs> Hollywood white guy. <laughs> Hollywood white guy. Hey. Um, no, I no, think... Uh, Zachary Levi was great. Yeah, he, he was, was really good. funny as hell. Uh, cared. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't just have like a... He wasn't just sitting the whole time kind of answering questions. He was actually up and... Engaging. Engaging with people. Mm-hmm. It was good. Yeah, he's, he's got a ton of energy. I didn't he's realize, all over that stage. I didn't realize he was in the like, Chipmunks movie, whichever one he was. Mm-hmm. He was Alvin, Simon, Theodore. He, no, he was the dude. He was the dude from the Chipmunks. Like, the the guy that goes, Alvin! Oh. Yeah. He was that guy. Oh, Peter In the Kump. sequel. In his, the squeakle. Peter. But um, Peter and the Chipmunks. He um, apparently just got done rapping, uh, Shazam. Yeah, which he he was excited about. Yeah, and um, yeah, but he is. I mean, he's really great. Um, I think he generally cares. Um, he's he's yeah. Um, he's funny. Um, seems like. A- Person. Yeah, he he generally is. I think it, when I'm talking about slubs who get the culture, the nerd culture, I mean, he's yeah. definitely one of them. Oh yeah. And I think he understands how important some of this is to people. You could tell he had been to a convention before. Yeah. Like any of it. And me and Craig saw him. Was it? Well, I guess it'd been two years ago. Our last con, but it was two years ago. Nineteen. I guess. Eighteen. But exactly the same. Same level of energy. Same yeah. everything. He was. Um, you know, the same person. Sure. So, um, he, we saw him, and then we watched um, Matthew Lewis. Matthew Lewis. Uh, who play plays Neville. Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Probably had the, one of the best glow-ups, though. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, he's, he's in stuff. It's just British things. British things that we don't know about. Yeah. But also, great, genuine guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. super funny. Yeah. I mean, he's British. Of course, he's charming the, and polite. The one that got me was the kid who asked about... Oh, about Trevor the Trevor. Toad. And he was like, yeah, we had to 
I got that guy fired. fired. <laughs> I got him fired, actually. Because this kid's all like, oh, how is it working with Trevor? And he's yeah. like, do you like Trevor? And the kid's like, yeah. He goes, I know, and I got the guy fired. Yeah. <laughs> just he tells this about story it. about how this like toad pissed on him as a kid. and like <laughs> Over and over. And he'd have like, what, six, seven toads uh-huh. at, for, the, for the Trevor? And one would piss on him, <laughs> and so they'd get rid of him. And then they just bring another one in and it just piss on him. <laughs> and how his robes just sprank <laughs> of toad piss all the time. That was great. <laughs> anyway, so apparently in the Deathly Hollows they bring him in, they're having some sort of conversation. They're like, how new d- Yeah, and they're yeah. like, Hey, you know, how do you feel about Trevor? And he's like, Fucking hate him. <laughs> and they're like, You wanna get rid of him? He's like, Yes, fire him. <laughs> he's like, You don't wee on your cast mate. <laughs> and also, I'm glad that he talked about the book scene. Yes. At uh, Mungo's? Yes. The, uh, Is that where they read the porn in Harry Potter? Trap. No. I was trying to explain to Craig, too, about um, that. Um, I think unless you've read the books, you don't really um, understand, understand Neville's... Are, yeah. Well, I mean, his parents in yeah, that. Yeah. I don't think you get that, and I really wish they would have given him that moment. Because they were, uh, if you don't know, Craig... They were, uh, what are they called? Marauders? They were, they were tortured to Muggles. death. Muggles. No, no, no. The Auras. Aurors. Yeah, yeah. Who were tortured to death by, uh, not to death. Mm. They to were the still. To, yeah. They were tortured to the point of insanity. insanity. Yeah. So they were at Mungo's hospital. Yeah. And he just had, this kid had to live through. His parents not knowing who he was, um, shit like that. So it. And I yeah. really do. I I kind of get into the whole thing where I really think that Neville, you know, because they're talking about how Harry Potter or whatever. I really think that Neville should have been should have should have been the chosen one. I really do. I and I think that there's not. I mean, don't come for me, all two people that are here. Um. <clears throat> Neville showed. I don't. I just. I think he was a better person. <laughs> He's not a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know. I mean, <laughs> he showed, and I mean, the bravery in some of the scenes that yeah. he has is just. It's so good, and I, I loved how much uh, Matthew Lewis loved Neville. Yeah. Yeah. And understood Even how said, important that character was. Yeah. You know, I'm getting kind of chills. I got chills too when we, he was talking about it and understood. And he even talked about how like growing up with Neville about um, he wasn't sure, you know, cause they were talking about, cause someone asked about how it did it neg- negatively impact his life. Like getting bullied or some shit. Yeah. And he said, actually no, that it made him, you know, a better person. It no. made him cause you know, he goes, he, he didn't go through the level of bullying that Neville did. Right. Um, but it made him more empathetic to people. It made him a better person. And talking about how growing up with Neville, about he he wasn't really sure who gave who confidence. Mm. And he goes, but I really think that it was Neville that you know into him as a growing up as a young man. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I just I love it when 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 the in going into like Marvel. I love it when the actor loves the character. Yeah. And I think that's one of the huge, you know, when you see, and we see that a lot with Marvel about how, or at least I think one of the reasons they're so successful is because a lot of those actors genuinely love those characters. Robert Downey Jr. Prime example. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know. It's, you can tell. Yeah, I think you can. I really do. I think you can. And I loved how much, and he understood the importance of Neville. But anyways. I also like the, uh, what is it called? The moderator? The chick in that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah she was, she was super into Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, she was. <laughs> she, <laughs> she loved every minute of it. <laughs> yeah, she really was. She was super into it. Yeah. Um, Porter fell asleep during that one. He did, um, which we were in the first five rows. Oh, we were right up front. Right up yeah. front. So you know that Matthew Lewis saw, <laughs> saw Porter falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> it. Yeah, without a mask on. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which then after that, I think did we after that we were like Porter, go sleep because he went to the VIP lounge we, and went to sleep. We after told that. him to go to the room. Yeah, and then we walked around the the floor. Mm-hmm. No, we went and got something a snack, and then he was like, "I'm gonna go." Because we we're like, you can go to the room, you can go to that sky bridge thing. When did you buy the uh, hammer? Was that Sunday? Saturday. It was Saturday morning. That was Saturday. So he, Porter bought. Oh my god. His children. I wonder how much breaker. Christian. <laughs> oh, you know she us. loves it too. Um, <laughs> Stormbreaker and mule deer. Um, hard foam. Hard foam, which. Fucking hurts. Yes. And um, wait, how would you know it hurts, he, Johnson? He, <laughs> well, he, po- Craig and Porter both uh, <laughs> multiple times threw multiple Just objects beat at me. The hell out of you with it. <laughs> Porter <laughs> hit you hard. He, you uh, had a red like like I got, I Mac. Was on pissed. Your, <laughs> I, you could tell. <laughs> really, but I it, didn't notice. So excited. Um, no, it. Uh, he threw it, said something, and so I looked, Four. and it j- like the blade of the the axe mm-hmm. hit my arm, and so it just kind of swung into my face, the handle, mm-hmm. and just the loudest pop right across your face, right across my face, yeah, close to throwing him off the second story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Floor uh-huh. with the glass, but um, I was pissed at that. Yeah, I got over it pretty quick. And then Craig and Porter kept throwing Mjolnir at me. That's weird. That doesn't sound like something I would do. At it all. does, actually. Well, doesn't, doesn't and then I threw right. stuff at them too. So mm-hmm. you know. So Sunday. After the uh, Matthew Lewis uh, panel, mm-hmm. we told Porter, hey, go go to the room and sleep. We'll keep looking at the floor. Mm-hmm. I found my kid something. Mm-hmm. Maybe Katie something. And we went up to the room. He's not there. We're like, well, shit. His phone's charging here. <laughs> so there's no way to get in touch with him. <laughs> So we the just con kinda, is closing in an hour. <laughs> we just kind of chilled up in the room for like thirty minutes. Yeah, we went down and looked, and he was where we thought he would be, uh, asleep on the VIP couch when he doesn't have a VIP badge. <laughs> yep. With no mask. With no mask. <laughs> With no mask on. Yeah. <laughs> so we went, and that was the. Uh, Third escape room we did that night oh, or that about weekend. Food and shit on the oh, I'm about to. Um, so we decided to do a uh, escape room. It's about what four thirty four. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, um, and we're like, hey, look, we'll do this escape room at seven thirty. Cool. We need a place. Let's find something to eat because we're all hungry because we haven't eaten lunch. Or y'all ate lunch, I think, and it was like thirty bucks for, for two people. What are you talking about? We ate lunch at the farmers market. This is on Sunday. Oh, Sunday! I don't remember what we did. You like nearly had Amber nearly had gas station sushi at the con. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, we got oh yeah. those shitty barbecue, really shitty barbecue. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah, it was like what eighteen bucks a pop. Yeah, for awful fucking barbecue sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't eat. I wasn't that hungry because we ate at like 10.30. So we go to, we don't even go up to the room. We're just like, hey, we booked a, we booked an escape room for 7.30. Let's find somewhere to eat. And so I see this Italian place. It says Italian Bar and Grill. Uh, it's two dollar signs. And I'm so you like, know, average price. Yeah, average price. You you know, like Fazoli's. Cool. Let's check that out. It's not 
at most it'll be an olive garden. <laughs> and so we take we drive. I drive. And I park. Yeah, why did you end up driving? That was weird. Um I don't know. So I end up, end up driving to this place. We have to park like a couple blocks down. Yeah, we do. That's true. And I park in this place, and as soon as I park, this dude comes up. He's like, hey, this is a hotel parking. This is a valet. Which it may or may not have been. Which it <laughs> we don't know. Probably wasn't, honestly. <laughs> so Craig gives him 10 bucks to park there. <laughs> so he's like, okay. <laughs> So immediately cost me ten dollars as soon as we <laughs> step out of the car. <laughs> so we walk, and on our way to the restaurant, there's just a um, log. Of Which there's all these really nice restaurants. There is. It's it's downtown Dallas. Dallas. It's just all these rich fucks just walking around, and a bunch of homeless people, and just a bunch of homeless <laughs> people taking a shit on the ground. Apparently, a log of shit just right just, there in the middle, and it you can tell it been stepped in like twice. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and, and so we pass by that. Nobody stepped in it. Thank God. And we make it to the restaurant, which, as soon as you walked in, there is a signed picture of the Rat Pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is the most known Italian faces mm -hmm. in all of history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Besides, like, Napoleon. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we go to this restaurant, which did you perceive that you thought we were going to like Fazoli's? Yeah, I thought we were going to Fazoli's <laughs> at 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 least Fazoli's at best, like maybe Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm a I'm I'm classy <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the cheapest entree mm. is twenty bucks mm -hmm. at this place. So we sit down at this table, yeah. and the guy you know, brings out the water and all of the stuff in the bottle, the glass bottle, and serves all of us and everything. And you know, we're looking at the wine list, and they have this um, this drink, which I'm not a big scotch drinker, but Craig loves scotch, and it's scotch amaretto, and what else is in it? Orange bitters. Yeah, it, they call it the Godfather. It's, it's yeah. But I mean, it's a stout drink, it and is good. Um, these and um. <laughs> I was like, yeah, give me one of those. And Craig then ordered first. Yeah. And then um you down it and then you're like, okay, I want hang on, uh, how how much is this? Like the classy <laughs> fuck I am. <laughs> how much are these? <laughs> Twelve bucks. Oh uh, So Craig's like, I'll I'll get you another one. <laughs> oh thanks, buddy. And so I get it. You sipped on that one a little oh, yeah, bit. I did, more. Yeah. But um this me and Craig had um uh, lobster minicotti. minicotti. The pasta was fresh. The lobster was amazing. Um, probably some of the best Italian food I've ever had. It really is. And I'm is. one sixteenth step Italian. Yeah. So. Um, you would know. I would know. <laughs> but then. And I've eaten a lot of pasta, <laughs> so I would know too. Um, but everything we had um, was just it was, amazing. I had a, uh, what was it? Um. What did you? Have? Oh, you had the tortellini. Tortellini carbonara or something. Like yeah, that. it's not carbonara. No, because there wasn't. was no pork in it. Um, something, but it wasn't really good. It it was like a garlic parmesan sauce, mm -hmm. and it was fucking phenomenal. Porter had a vodka sauce, sauce. vodka marinara Sausage, sauce, something. Yeah. I don't know. I just had some of the pasta and the sauce. It was incredible. It was, yeah. Um, we got y'all's lobster was amazing. That was really good. Yeah. Um, we got calamari, Ca an appetizer, fried calamari, which was yeah. your first time ever having it. Wasn't yeah, it? I it was. I've never had calamari before. Um, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Like even the bread had or breading had seasoning. It was and really then good. You bite into that sriracha tartar sauce, and there's a and there's like a chewy. 
burst of flavor in the calamari. Uh, so good. I miss it. <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> I, um, I can't go back. <laughs> then we also got dessert. You got your cannoli I that you love. Oh, I got a cannoli. Craig got those. a cheesecake, which I know for sure was homemade. Oh, like, yeah. it was amazing. Again, some of the best Italian food I've ever had. Tiramisu. Tiramisu got, was really good. It was, oh, fuck. If you like coffee and cake. Which, who doesn't? Other cream. than Craig. Which is weird. Yeah. Craig, what's up? Um, it's weird that I don't like it. That you just don't like co- uh, terrible Yeah, I don't. It's a texture thing. Um, I don't. Yeah, I know. He's dumb. But somewhere is- during all of this, Craig has convinced Coleman that the bottles, of, the glasses of he water. He never convinced me. <laughs> I convinced him I just 100%. <laughs> Played along, sure, because I believe I believe <laughs> that believe? This, the place like this would do that, but I knew they didn't because it tasted like Dallas Tap. Mm. It tasted flat like water. water. He he convinced him that the water that was thirteen dollars a glass. <laughs> Johnson's eyes when I said it too <laughs> huge. <laughs> But it really was. It was some of the. It was incredible. It was some of the best thing, best water I've ever tasted. I totally give Johnson the hotel. Yeah, a total (laughs) credit for stumbling into this place. I. It was a fuck up. He failed up. He failed (laughs) up. Failed. We've decided that's where some of the passive charisma has come from. Yeah. You know, when he's not trying too hard, he does a really good job. Yeah. But it really was. That was it, an incredible it was place. Good. It I was good. I really have. I would love to go back and like Explore that lobster manicotti man. I don't know if I could do anything else other than that. That was so good. And the I cream would, sauce had pancetta and um, mushrooms. What else did it have in it, Craig? Like the sauce itself was just it was uh, amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Um, that problem with that is it's not on the menu. Yeah, it was I know like it was a, a special season, yeah. for that night. I know. I'm sure it's a seasonal thing. I bet it is. But, but what season is lobster? I have it's, uh, no right idea. now. No, <laughs> that's why we need to go back like tonight. Let's go tonight. We're doing a road trip. Road trip tonight. I'm not dressed for a road trip. You look dressed it. in comfy clothes. We weren't dressed to go in that place <laughs> oh, either. No. no, we were t- jeans, t-shirt. Everybody else was like, you know, all fancy, business casual, or business. But. And our waiter business, was business was semi-formal still business. so though super nice and like Chris yeah. he was a good guy yeah yeah he was a good guy he was really awesome hey, he was good people he was good people not even dirty <clears throat> and he was the one making those drinks I don't know if y'all noticed he was I the didn't. one making those drinks <clears throat> it was uh it was some good stuff it was a really great experience which now I just need like what is it polar bear whiskey. <laughs> No. Di Serrano. <laughs> no. That's basically, yeah, you're right there. And squeeze an orange into it, is it right? Is that yeah. an old orange? <laughs> Get an old moldy orange. Oh, what? It's oh, got to be a little bitter. Did it tell you what kind of scotch it was? I mean, I know it was a higher level. Didn't say. Nah. But it was, it was, I, um. It was really good. I'm sure it was Di Serrano, though, right? <clears throat> Amaretto? Yeah, yeah, it probably was a Di Serrano. Because Di Serrano is pretty expensive. It's the yeah, higher... It's like 30 bucks a bottle. 25 bucks a bottle. I don't know if I'd call that pretty expensive, but yeah. I would. Well, Coleman pays five bucks I pay for five his liquor. Considering you buy in bulk, yes. It's plastic, so it can't go bad. It's great for the environment, Craig. Yeah, fuck them turtles. <laughs> Did you How's the turtle gonna get hurt by a plastic <laughs> bottle? Well, did you tell him about um, then the escape room we did after that? I haven't gotten to that yet. I was waiting. And also, I'm not good at storytelling. <laughs> you're doing a great job. You're doing amazing. I don't Thanks. know what you're talking about. It's awesome. Me and the other person in this room agree. <sighs> Go ahead, Coleman. More, but... We were doing a, an escape room. The seven deadly sins. Seven deadly sins. It, it was had a, nothing to do with that. It was a. Uh, no, it really didn't. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Except we, that they were written on the wall at one point. At one point. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. They, it was. It was based on a glass pane window, or a stained glass window that mm-hmm. we saw. So this escape room, we had never gone through this company before. Um, probably won't. Again, oh, no, probably not. Uh, it 
if we run out, maybe. <laughs> like, <laughs> if, if we we're go- in Dallas again and we've already done the one all more the, that... All the escape rooms possible. The one that we haven't done for uh, secret or hidden secret, hidden keys, secret keys. <laughs> secret chambers. Secret chambers. Hidden keys. Hidden keys, <laughs> secret keys. <laughs> chambers. Um, it was dark. It was dark, and sure by that we mean the lights were off. <laughs> the, all the lights were off. They took you your had cell phones. Yeah, they, they took, took your, s- your cell phones. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, they didn't. They were supposed to, but I yelled at the dude about mango. Uh, you <laughs> were yelling at people to get it this one. Oh, he's yeah, right. Mango! I want mango! Because you could drink in this one. You, you could, could drink. Say, they had a bar. <laughs> so Colin's all, yeah, he, we're in the middle of the whole prep, you know, where they give you the instructions and they tell you all that stuff. And Colin was like, yeah, I got a question. Can I get another one? I'll, I'll get right on that. <laughs> and, he, and he just left and started the video and like <laughs> didn't even lock the door no, so we could just open it. We won right then and there. There we and go. And <laughs> even on the screen, it was like, what did you want? I was like, mango! mango! <laughs> and he was like, push the button, please. <laughs> so I pushed the button yelled, yelled mango, man. please. And then I, I didn't think he heard me because I thought you might have to hold the button to push it. You know, he clearly in his instructions know, told us that's not what you do. He clearly told us not to do that. So Cole was yelling. Mango! <laughs> Mango, please. <laughs> it's like one of the... It's the it's the shitty kind of like Walmart brand. Yeah, it wasn't real stuff. It, where you, it's just a bottle. It's a big old wine cooler. It's 14%. Though I mean you know, yeah. uh, mango, mango, margarito, margarita, mango, margarito, margarito, mango, margarito, mm. Ariba Dirty. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. Which I mean that wasn't it. All right. So it starts off. Lights are. This long video <laughs> that you had to pay attention to. That Coleman did not. I. Didn't give a fuck because <laughs> no. I mean, ma- mango, mango, because mango. Because yeah. <laughs> he's yelling mango at this poor guy. <laughs> a, I feel bad for some things. But You'll never see them again I except won't. for maybe that chick because we saw her again. I didn't yell mango at her. <laughs> no, you just yelled fuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh I, don't, my God. I think I remember when I did that night. I didn't think she was actually still there <laughs> because she had given the hint. She's supposed to fuck off after that, right? <laughs> she was way Apparently. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was really nice. A huge shout out to them. Yeah, was good Super job. nice. That was a great experience. Kelsey, Sorry, maybe? I don't remember her name. Yeah, though. me either. I'm sorry, Kelsey, that we don't remember your name. <laughs> we're going to call you Kelsey, though. We're apparently. going to call you Kelsey. Um, we all know who we're talking about. Yeah, you know, too. Uh, if you're watching this, <laughs> if this gets to you. Is she I don't the know. one that we I plugged advertised. This to? What? Is she the one I plugged to? You, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she recognized, she understood what D&D was. Yeah. She plays. Yeah. Or at least knows enough. It, she's heard it. The she's words. Like sure. <laughs> He knows what a D and a D are. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> They'll get crazy here. <laughs> Anyways, we go to this escape room. Go- it was not at the same level that we were used it to. It was a lot more difficult. Mm. I will give it it. Okay. It was difficult because the clues didn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe it was too artsy for us, Chris. It was too That's artsy for y'all. Like, y'all just didn't understand it. You didn't understand it because you were drunk. Uh, yeah, I got the... And then I, y'all insulted Porter by telling him he didn't know how to use a tape measure. <laughs> I didn't I didn't say that. I just went over it. to make you sure. You just implied it. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, yeah. You might as well have fucking Google him, Johnson. I didn't have my phone, Craig. I wasn't supposed to have my <laughs> phone, Craig. But we did. <laughs> Because we're rebels like that. We were yeah. rebels without we're a cause. <laughs> well, we had a cause to fix the escape and then, room. And then, like, I didn't... Okay, so if you know me, you know that I hate... Children? 
No. Children. Well, old most people. children. Some old, old people. people. Um, <laughs> Regular like people. Like letting me win. Fat like er, not earning oh, something. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. I feel like I haven't earned something, I hate they it. They let us win. Yeah, because what no, their, their rules were there <clears throat> were that you get three free hints. Yeah. And then after those three free hints, you can ask for more hints, but you get a two minute penalty for each one. Yeah. I know for sure we got four, so I know we sh for sure we should have had two minute two penalty. minute penalty. We but then at the same time, minutes. they were giving us free shit too. Like he would just say things like. Just I stand on the fact that they realized they fucked up and made shit that didn't make sense. Yeah. And then, then why did they fix that? We're not the first ones to ever go through that room. Because they haven't had time to. Most people never got as far as we did. That's what I'm assuming. Well, I know that the people who played it before us didn't beat it. I know that. Because How the dude told me that. Because we were so late getting back there to our room. We were like 30 minutes late. But we were all playing poker with Uno cards we didn't know. <laughs> Uno cards and Jenga. <laughs> we were having a good time. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> it worked. Craig made up the rules. Whatever. We lost. Craig won. <laughs> Craig made up the rules. Craig won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was weird. <laughs> but whatever, we're used to it. It wasn't that weird. It was fun. <laughs> that's, how, that's how our life works. I had a good time. Um, <laughs> that's really all that matters. But um, the guy, when we were walking back there, he told me, you know, I apologize for the wait, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. He goes, the group in front of you took a really long time, and unfortunately, you just couldn't get through it. I feel like you just said that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, these guys didn't. Look, 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 listen to me. <laughs> these guys. These guys just sucked. <laughs> they couldn't get shit. You guys are gonna suck too. You guys, you you guys got this. I don't know. Mango. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone in the background starts yelling mango. Um, but was, there was a lot of things I that was. I didn't think made sense. I don't understand how the story fit in the thing. Priest it, killed his whole congregation, but mostly children because of seven deadly sins. And there were seven chi Oh. What? There were seven kids. No, there weren't. There were five. Oh. Why the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it made no sense, what? man. Because <laughs> remember the handles? That we didn't know what we were supposed to do with those stupid handles? Yeah. But none of it made sense. Oh, yeah. we. How How the fuck were we supposed to know? I don't know. That no. We were supposed to put those handles in that box and that, that, that one was the countermeasure. <laughs> I mean, I could understand, hey, here's here's handles and here's holes. Which we did that. We did we, that. We got that part. But I also thought that like, if you put them in the same order... That's what we were going with. ...that they would give you a combination mm -hmm. because there were numbers on the side of the box mm -hmm. and like grooves in the handles or mm -hmm. marks on the handles, which is what we thought. Right. And then we got the hint that it was like, hey, make them all match up evenly. Made no sense. How? Why? Yeah, how are we supposed to know that? We well, to be fair, to I did say that at one point, and y'all all told me I was stupid. They point to a number. Yeah. Oh, Craig, you want to be on their stupid. side now? No, I don't. I'm just saying. Because it is stupid. Hey, hey, Mike, our only person watching tonight, do you like escape rooms? Because we need to take someone when Coleman's drunk. I. Which is like 90% of yeah. the time. You don't need to take it anywhere else. We got this. You but, wouldn't have figured out the Poe thing if not for You know me. what? You had some really great moments. I and Poe, you were sober-ish. Yeah. Poe <laughs> yeah. was, was really a great one. It was po a good was one. Really fun. Um, was. But it was, that one... Pirate uh, one was good, too. Huh? Yeah. Pirate, Pirate one, one wasn't bad either. No. Uh, Secret Chambers is always fun. Yeah. They, they really do. I mean, we've done the Witch's Tower there. It was a really good one. Um... Our first one that we ever no, done dig together. No, Dick was That's called Escape This. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that one too. That yeah. Um, the one um, we are mine and Craig's first ever escape room was with Secret Chambers, with Cthulhu. Oh yeah, it's Cthulhu. Um, which I really wish we had have, had gotten a chance to go back and do it again. Because y'all didn't finish that. We one, didn't did finish you? that one. Yeah. No, y'all sucked on that one. We yeah. did. We had it our was brother John so cool us. and um. But they retired that room. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. You can't do it anymore. I didn't know that. I yeah. thought it was like y'all just didn't want to do it again. No, man. Nope. It, it, they retired it. Oh, shit. It's the one that got away. Yeah. <clears throat> and I blame like, man, John I wish... wholeheartedly. <laughs> Why? Because he was there. <laughs> it... Okay. 
but it was it was really it was such a cool uh cool concept cool room and we just could not it was our first one though you know what i mean Mm. um as you do them you kind of learn like what to be looking for and understanding the process and stuff and we almost beat that one too we We were really close close. yeah we had we didn't get the radio that's what fucked us up Mm -hmm. there's a part we had to turn this radio station it was just all static you just had to keep turning it until it found and the, a coded message. It got a yeah. Then all of a sudden it came through, and we just oh. didn't get it. But it was uh, it was a really cool experience. Um, that explains the there was a tip jar at the place, mm-hmm. and it was who's your favorite or favorite author? Five favorite author. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. favorite ar- author. Uh, B. Poe or. Uh, H. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. Mm-hmm. And it was, you know, one or the other. So that explains with the because Cthulhu they've talked about thing. it with Cthulhu. Yeah. My favorite no. B author. Yeah, it is That's, Angela but, Lansbury. Oh, her too. Her but it's my favorite Angela author. It's B author. <clears throat> it's a handsome woman. The Bobby. You know who B Arthur is? Gilmore Golden Girls. No. Yeah, it's, Gilmore Girls. It's Dorothy. Gold. Dorothy from Golden Girls. You said Gilmore Girls. I said Golden Girls. You said Gilmore. Y'all don't listen to me. We established this earlier. Hey, Mike, what is she Jared Padalecki was in Gilmore Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for like yeah, a he good was. while. So was the dude that played Peter Petrelli. Milo, what's his face? Vinta Magilio. Yeah, Italian something. Peter Petrelli. Who's Peter Petrelli? Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. He played Rocky's son in like one of the newer Rockies. In Balboa. He's in This Is Us. The Manny Moore. I know he was a serial killer in Gotham. He was a serial killer? I don't want to watch him as a serial killer, man. It, I, I mean, he's not bad. I mean, it, I, that's really bad. I know that's not really good because actors are actors and they're supposed to have craft and like, be able to expand themselves and stuff. Uh, and shit. Diverse well, portfolio. Yeah, whatever, shit. Um, but there's certain, You heard me. There's certain you act- heard me, Craig. I did, you're right. There's certain diverse actors portfolio. in the world. I'm trying to really hard to get through this with y'all and y'all's yeah. weird shit. No, go for it. Um, certain portfolio. actors in the world that... like cannot play bad people. It messes with me. Um Dwayne the Rock Johnson? He He played a bad guy in Doom. He played a bad guy in Scorpion King. Well I mean but that wasn't really him as CGI head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorta. <laughs> he was he was in it He was once in one scene. In one scene when they showed the Scorpion King the, before he became Scorpion King. Yeah. 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 That was about it. And then he was Scorpion King in Scorpion King, mm-hmm. which, I mean... But he's also a bad guy in Doomed. Doom? Doom. Yeah, that card made me go watch. Why did you make me go watch that? Because it was a video game. It's a video game movie. You have to watch them. Have you played Doom? Yeah, it's great. Not you. <laughs> me? No, I haven't. Yeah. Anyways... Like he can't play bad guys. I don't like it. I don't want it. I, it makes I don't like it at all. Has he, has he played it right? I mean, he he's a good heel. Well, yeah, but fucking. see, and I didn't see him. I wasn't a wrestling fan back then. Uh, so I'm not I mean, a wrestling fan right now. Yeah, you are. You changed the password, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get anything now. I didn't change the password. I think we stopped the subscription because I no longer had COVID. Oh yeah. But him and Louie have been watching a little bit of wrestling here lately. Which is probably not good because Louie's probably going to go to preschool and like body slam Just somebody. Because <laughs> right now shit. he already tries to hi everyone. <laughs> nice. They're like, Louie tackled someone the other day. And I don't understand why because he was trying to laugh about it. It's like he's trying to play. Like he's trying yeah. to wrestle like he does with his brother and sister. No. Yeah. They're like, oh. He's still kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else can't play a bad guy? I don't like it when they play a bad guy. Robin Williams. Yeah, but he plays a good one when he plays it. Like the one, what's the one? What's that one? He played one where he played a bad guy. Really? Mm-hmm. And it Centennial me Man. Death becomes her. No. 
I don't remember. Kiss but on yeah, the he girls. wouldn't have been a good. But yeah, you're right. It, it bugs Ms. me. Ms. Doubtfire. <laughs> kind of a shitty guy, honestly. Yeah. Right? Yeah, at the beginning, especially. But yeah. he learns and grows. He becomes a woman. So he can be with his so kids. So he can be with his kids. Because Sally know. Fields wasn't about that shit. Yeah. But he rents a zoo. I mean, I get it's for the kids, but you gotta talk to your wife about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honey, we agreed purchases over a hundred dollars we're supposed to speak about. <clears throat> um, what was the one you were talking about? Thinking I don't about? Know. I don't know. Uh, Aladdin. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It was Aladdin. A gin? That's like a... You know, how long do you think he's been dead? Five years? It's more than that. Really? Was it like 13? It's been 27 years, Johnson. He Uh died in 2014. Yeah. So, and if you factor in the fact that 2020 was six years long... (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. I don't know. It's just to me, it feels like it hasn't been that long ago. Honestly, it still no. feels really fresh. I don't know. He's probably one of the few celeb deaths that I really took that cared hard. about. Yeah. yeah, it really kind of broke my heart a little bit. Yeah. Um. Oh, and I loved him in Dead Poet Society. I've never seen it. Oh, you should. Is it good? So good. Is that the one where they stand on the desks? Yeah, and say, yeah. Captain, my captain. Yeah. Yeah. Why do they say that? And it's, they made it's them, a literary... Um, made them read, like, Moby Dick? No, I don't know. You just gotta watch it. Okay, I probably won't. <sighs> Robin Williams gets dark and nasty in three films. Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> He was also a really hairy man. Yeah, is that why I identified with him? No, I just I am I hairy? Yes, my friend. Uh, so I started I think this- insomnia is Yeah, yeah, that's when it is. In uh Somnia in which Williams plays a serial killer being tracked by Al Pacino's uh sleep deprived detective. Oh shit. Is that any good? Um. It, yeah. It. I remember it being creepy. I haven't watched it in a long time, but it creeped me out. Come on, check that um, out. I know he played a pedophile in SVU Law and Order. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was he was good on that one. Wasn't me. Oh, weird. <laughs> weird how nature make that. <clears throat> that's a. That's a. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of Malibu. <laughs> Or some more of there if you want. Okay. Um. <clears throat> what were we saying? What are the other two? Uh, the other two that this one talks about is <coughs> Death of Smoochie. Death to Smoochie. Never seen it. Which is a pitch black comedy that um, opened Friday about a kitty show personality named. Rainbow Rudolph, who will stop at nothing to obliterate his um, competition, including murder. Sounds dumb. I'm trying to look for the other one. Is that the one where he wore a red nose and all the children died? No, that's Patch Adams. Like it was a cause and effect, right? <laughs> like mm-hmm. he. He he wore the road red nose so the children would die. Yeah, yeah, but happily. Yeah, like eh. they they would wish for death. Right. That was a good one. I love that movie. It was that was weird. The lady in the spaghetti. That's what she wanted to do. I man. know it just always weirded me out. You don't think that'd be cool? I in a big tub of spaghetti. Weirded me out. And horny. It was it was a weird thing. Oh, so there's a kink. I thought that this might be into it. Oh, fuck. What was it called? It's where, like, they splash food on you and shit. Um, Mukbang. No, that's when you eat it. <laughs> 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 if 
food play? Mm. <laughs> like, would he get a strawberry and have like gushers? <laughs> uh, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I guess you said it like any other person would say gushers, but in this context. <laughs> Almost. Good job, Craig. He's dead. Good job, Craig. He's dead. Yeah, kinda. Got him. Good job, Craig. He's dead. Thanks. Did you just start? Yeah. This character? Uh huh. I'm already level 65. So it's not hard to get levels. No, not really. Okay. I mean, if you don't suck at life. Oh, okay. He also played in One Hour Photo, which where he played a bad guy too. One hour. Mhm. Mm he like stalks these people through, like you know. Oh, is that the one where he plays Kevin James, haunting a family in the woods as Kevin James, as a neo-Nazi? Yeah, Robin Williams' favorite role is right. to play Ke Kevin James. Kevin James as a neo-Nazi. Yeah. I think I think so. Yes. Becky's One Hour Photo. That actually does sound pretty good. I think I think there was a X Files episode about that. I don't know. Do you not watch X Files? I wasn't allowed to. Neither was I until was I bought sexy. the first two seasons on D V D. She and wasn't allowed bought... to because Mulder was too sexy. Mm. He wasn't a porn. <clears throat> or no a sex tape. He was in a sex tape. Yeah, David Duchovny. Yep. More like David Duchovny. Have you seen it? I, I don't know. I just. Have you seen it, Coleman? Just, you don't know. You do know. No, if you did or I haven't. I just don't know if Duchovny is a sexy name. But it's, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you said, but it's not sexy. What okay. celebrity uh, sex tapes celeb have you yeah. seen? All of them. Name them all. All two of them. The main two. <laughs> What's the main two? Hilton and uh, Kardashian. Oh, I haven't seen Hilton's. Yeah, it's like black and white. And Have we grainy. seen Hilton's car? Uh, if we I did, it didn't leave an impression. Yeah, it's, it really wouldn't. It wouldn't. You ever seen a broom? <laughs> it was. A, you got the. You got it. Stand a broom up so that the bristles are pointing up. Yeah. You got it. You nailed it. Yep, pretty much. That's what happened. Yeah. Nail the broom. Splinters. Eh, if it's made right, no. But she wasn't raised right. I, I, don't, know. I don't fucking know. We've seen her we've seen her reality TV show and everybody knows that's reality TV. Mm -hmm. Harrison uh, Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie. Nicole, yeah. Growing up, like it was only on ETV or E. Growing up with the Kardashians, Gone Country, or yeah. something like that. No, yeah. Girls Next Door. Yeah, yeah. Girls Next to the Kardashians. And they went and like lived with. You know, families. Kim Kardashian was like Paris Hilton's, um, like stylist or something like. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how, how she, how got, she famous. got famous. Not even really stylist. It was more like her maid. Like she. Took Who care of her was? clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why she became famous. That and Ray J. Yeah, and then her mom leaked her own sex tape. That's how she became famous. That's a shitty thing for a mom to do. Yeah. <clears throat> well, now she, they're billionaires. She's an so. ambitious motherfucker. Yeah. But now they're well, all millionaires. She's an ambitious mother. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I'm not I don't think here. she's getting a lot of dick these days, if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean she's, she's a she's brave got woman. Some, um, <laughs> the <she's>, bravest. <laughs> She's got some guy that she like who's way younger than her. Probably. Wait, she's not still with. No, they're not together anymore. That whore. Yeah, how are you gonna divorce the America's, the world's most bravest woman? Yeah. Woman of the year, my it's book. Okay. It's okay if you leave now. Yeah. There's no 
nobody in China. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah, I'm just doing this for fun. <laughs> you wanted to have fun, Amber, I right? No. Mm hmm. This <laughs> tonight started it off. It was great. Porter being sick, faking sick, and then this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, mm. Was what Porter really sick? Did he just not want to be here. Uh, oh, Goku? Is that Goku? Is that? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, he actually did feel like shit. Sure, don't cover for him now, Jason. It's okay. I'm not gonna cover for him. It's okay. The fact that the motherfucker. Liked the 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 hotel room temperature at like eighty. <laughs> like what the fuck, man? Okay, it wasn't eighty; it was like seventy-four. But still, if you're on a hotel, it's supposed to feel like an iceberg. Yeah, that's true. And he just didn't get it. Like he got up one time and turned it, and I started sweating. Mm -hmm. So I got up and turned it, and then I went back to sleep. I don't remember what happened after that. This is like literally hours apart. Right. Like he got up sometime, and it was like six when I got up <laughs> and turned it back on <laughs> to like 60. Who was by the fan? Me. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we both have blankets. We were in the same bed. It wasn't like yeah. a, a weird she thing. Just picked the roll up and put it on top of him. He'd have been warm. Yeah. What is it? The, the plop. Belly on your black back? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can feel my sack. Is that it? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know rap songs. <laughs> But no, we uh, we shared two queen size beds, mm -hmm. so it was like one massive bed. So pushed them together. Pushed them together. <laughs> pushed them together. <laughs> so but much more room for activities. No activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maid was really confused. <laughs> oh no, she wasn't. She knew what was going on. That's true. Yeah. You were at the Holiday Inn. Come on. <laughs> we were. Uh, there was one car that never fucking moved. <laughs> I don't know what. That guy probably is dead in his room. <laughs> Just some overdose. <laughs> Just like he bought for a week. He's been dead for three days. No one knows. <laughs> oh, did I tell you all about the time Katie and I spent in uh, Austin? Nope. So we left a day early. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Oh. Nobody talk. What's your current quest? I don't know. Nothing right now. Talk to this guy. But it says current quest. There. I have to kill 20 Cybermen. 20 Cybermen? What's a Cyberman? A man, but Cyber. Oh, the Gohan killer. Y yes. The... The other guy was voiced by Chris Seven. <laughs> Everyone in the show. Yes. Yamcha. Yep, Yamchi. Yeah. You know, Yamchi. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so fucking old. Is that the old Yamchi there? Is that the Yamchi? Yeah, it's a Yamchi. I'm not a goddamn Yamchi. <laughs> None of that was right. God, I fucking love, I love that part. Where what it's like Bul Bulma and... uh. Vegeta, like something said about them, and it just shows like Yamcha just hanging in a hotel room. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> this is when they're talking about the androids coming back from the future. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And they're like, you didn't mention Yamcha. How did he die? He goes, oh, I mean, he's still dead, but. And they're like, dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I want to shower by the way. Me. 
Why is it sticking to your face? I don't even know why that stick is there. <laughs> it's it's hot too, actually. Oh. Um, so me and Katie went to uh, Austin uh-huh. a few years ago, and we stayed at this cheap hotel room because we had booked the Omni in Austin for the day before, mm-hmm. and we left early. We were like, yeah, we fuck it, we'll hotel. go. And we couldn't get the hotel. <laughs> and so we stayed in this shit, shit rag hotel. Mm-hmm. Middle of the night, the door just, ooh, I had latched the, the chain. Mm-hmm. Door just opens. <laughs> like, um, hello? Mm-hmm. I have the gun, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, we're here to kill you. <laughs> and I, I was like, can I help you? He was like, we don't have you scheduled for here. We don't have anybody scheduled for right here. It's our room, bitch. Get, <clears throat> what the fuck are you talking about? Give me a give me a minute. Let me get dressed. Mm-hmm. And we'll I'll go up to the front desk. Mm-hmm. He, and as but by the time I got there, he was like, "Oh shit, that's my bad. Uh, your room's free." Mm. Um, I'll twenty bucks of it. Yeah. <laughs> 25, Amber. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Classy place. <laughs> Only the best for Katie. And it was just... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we had booked the Omni. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just a weird fucking thing that happened. Like, have you ever been woken up in the middle of a hotel room stay by somebody opening the door? I would be scared shitless. I, I was. <laughs> but I also had a gun... And <laughs> the weirdest thing, I guess, that I had experienced, kind of, uh, similar-ish, yeah. different. Um, <clears throat> I used to, oh, when I was working in Brownwood, I'd go back and forth a lot, and I spent a lot of nights there at the hotel there. Anyways, they gave me a key. They told me that I could go to this room and all this stuff. <clears throat> so I get up there to go to my room, and walk in, and um. Kind of, you know, I'm not really paying attention. I walk in, and there's like the bed is unmade. There's people's clothes in here. There's like a pair of glasses on the nightstand, and there's someone in the bathroom. Oh no! I'm like, ah! So I walk back out, <laughs> and I go down there, and I'm like, someone's in my room. Uh oh. I mean, that's what you get for Brownwood. Hmm. Is that where that happened? Mm-hmm. It happened at that Hilton or camp oh. that we always go to. Okay. Makes sense. But, um... But, yeah. I mean, that was creepy on that side of it. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did y'all order? Uh, we have cheese on a stick, quesadillas, and french fries. Oh, that place. You want something? Nope. I'm good. Okay. The breading is like a corn dog breading. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no. Really? Mm-mm. Oh. How? With ranch and cheese. Yeah. Nope. These quesadillas are amazing, though. Quesadillas are really good. So, I realized I'm never going to use the bathroom at my work now. I went in there. Straight up saw mm-hmm. looking place. Yeah. <laughs> There's like. I know what the stains are, but it still looks like shit. 
shit stains everywhere. It's it's like grease. Then like the shit they put on pipes, mm -hmm. just okay. and they get it gets on your hands, mm -hmm. and then you touch things, and it just stains it. Okay. <laughs> and but it looks like the because the stalls have no doors on them. Mm -hmm. um, that way you can't be doing the drugs in there, Johnson. I know. They know who you are. They've heard about you. What are the guys' obsession with seeing each other poop? This is fun. You get a glass table, all your buddies lay underneath it while you poop. It's a fun time. Mm. You know. No Kabuto. You and me are not the same. <laughs> oh, we are, Johnson. Oh. We are. Mm -hmm. Anyways, continue your story about your saw bathroom. It just... It's frightening. And I'm never going to use it. Ever. Oh, you'll use it. No. You're gonna shit in there. And then someone's gonna lock you up and you have to cut off your own arm and get out. You think I'd do that? No. Exactly. He's like, I'll just stay here. I can wait it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at waiting. Oh, the 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 key got flushed or got sent down the the tub pipe in the first five minutes? Cool. You'll I'll start in your browser. I'm getting hungry, though. In the tub? No, in the saw. <laughs> oh. Thing. Start trying to reach one of the dead bodies in there. <laughs> I know you. I just edited one of our Dark Souls videos today. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. How'd that go? Okay. Weirdly enough, you talked about cannibalism in it. Right. Yep, just like that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All those noises sound like you, too. posted this one hour ago. Dear owners of a golden retriever that ran out in front of me on West Lake Road near Phantom Lake, your dog is cute, but we are not friends. Because now the chili I had in my crock pot is in my floorboard and my brakes might be shot and I almost ran into a historical marker. You're welcome for not running over your dog. This is your, this is your wife, Katie Johnson? Mm -hmm. Yep. What's she doing with chili? Well, probably she had like a softball get together thing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It was a potluck apparently that somebody brought chili to. Not her. She brought backseat chili. <laughs> what? Is it like Kevin's chili? Maybe. Did Kevin also spill his chili in the backseat of his car? Kevin spilled chili in the office. Yeah. Sorry. I don't watch that show, Johnson. It's too mainstream. Too art, it's too artsy for me. Oh, okay. I thought I could get into it. It's great. I love it. That's what people say. What? That it's great. They love it. The office. I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I guess. I like Parks and Rick. Right? That's what Amber says. Who's this guy? Chris Pratt. I want someone to name their kid that. He is Mario. I know. In what? The new Mario movie's coming out. Oh, the animated one? Yeah. Mm hmm I'm kind of sad it's not live action. We don't get small-headed Goombas again. Um, yeah. He's Mario. Jack Black is... Um, Bowser? Bowser. I think. 
Charlie Day is Luigi. Yeah. I mean, there's it's a star study cast. There's tons of... Jack, uh, not Jack Black. Uh, is Danny DeVito in it, too? I don't think so. I that seems that right. My... He probably is. I probably made that up. <clears throat> Some chick is Peach. Yeah. I've never heard of her. That makes sense. Jack Black. We already said that. Was Peach? Peach. He probably should have been. You jump. I don't know what that is. I do know what that is. You do? Borderlands. Oh my uh, god, I'm so proud of you. Explosions? You made me watch that with you. Or play that with you. Oh, that's right. I don't think you like Bioshock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard of the Caribbean you said, I heard of. You that. said Bioshock, and I don't. <clears throat> you don't like Bioshock? <clears throat> no. Why? I don't know. Boring. You can never get into it. I know there's a lot of porn about it. I think it's because this guy that we worked with really pushed it really hard. He was like, "This is the greatest fucking thing ever." I was like, oh, "Okay." I don't say ever. Well, Craig has to be anti it, the, the anti would, the man. I would say it fixed racism though. It <laughs> fixed it in the world. <laughs> it fixed it. Well, that's good. Is that the one where, like, they ever... You Big Daddy? Big Daddy Cool Diesel? What? That was in the first and second. In the third installment, you were on a cloud city. A fixed racism? Where people hated black people. What? Yeah. And you... So you joined the resistance of... Of the of the non cloud people, cloud people. Oh. You know, we're against the races. Good game. It's like a shooter adventure. You don't even know her. Who? She, uh. <clears throat> uh you don't even know her. The way my neighbor makes this entire apartment smell like boiled feet. I'm about to sit outside their door with Febreze and full blast it until they get the hint. Nick. So it turns out he died. Who? <laughs> it's just shit from, like, you know. The Brownwood vent page. No, it's Twitter <laughs> shit. Yeah. We joke, but there's been weird shit like that before. Man, some of the stuff I see on the Abilene Moms page. Holy crap. Not a long mom. You can't weird. be. You're not a mom. Weird how nature make that. <laughs> weird how nature make that. That was by design, <laughs> sir. God's boy. For you to not be able to play any part of that one <laughs> Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Honey, you know it checks out. Why, why do why don't I get laid? Ooh. Oh, Amber Alert. Everybody run outside quick. Why are we running outside? So I have to we look can for stop the Amber. She's 17 years old. That's not an Amber Alert. <laughs> yeah. She's technically an adult in Texas. You can still be kidnapped. As, yeah, but it's not an Amber Alert. So the gloves I wear at work, mm -hmm. the dye makes your hands yellow. Mm -hmm. It looks like I have jaundice. Mm -hmm. Sure, it just looks I'm like. I'm sure it. it's the gloves and not your cirrhosis <clears throat> of the liver. Well, yeah. <laughs> They're still a little bit yellow, but I washed it off as best I could. Turns out, Don dish soap mm -hmm. gets out grease. Yeah, that's why like that. yeah. they bathe um, like ducks and stuff in it when there's an oil yeah. spill. So I just have it have a bottle in the shower. <laughs> just that's not weird. Because you know. <laughs> you're greasy from work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Not the other times. Oh, okay. Those are fixed with soap. All right. I think. Do they? Does that fix with soap? Do, do how fix with soap. I was self-conscious during the convention about smelling bad. 
Oh, uh, being one of those guys? Yeah, being one of those guys. But I wasn't. You weren't one of those and guys. I, I reach, I, you guys reassured me. We did. Yeah. It's because we're good friends, Johnson. Thank you. The best. We would tell you, man. Yeah. Believe me. As much as we tell you, we would tell you that for sure. <laughs> That's like the first thing we tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go take a shower and like, talk more shit to you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> just go, man. Just, I don't care where. Just anywhere that's not right here, right now. Porter, can I get the, can I get the key so I can get the hotel and get a shower? No, it's going to stink now. <laughs> you had, it. You had it? your chance. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to tell you all a story about what I grew up. Okay. So... Really small class, right? Mm hmm So it's like the same six girls I've known my whole life. Yeah. Like we're all growing up together. Anyways, there's one girl. And all of them are bitches. Yeah, mm. kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, like, especially in middle school, like all girls are. Oh, yeah. Um, so there was this. Now, this didn't happen to me directly. It happened to um, my friend. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, what was so. Her name? Um, what was her name? Bamber. I'm not going to tell you. Jessica S, because they all had to go, all three of them had to go by last names. Her name was Leather. <laughs> Craig knows this story. So, my friend is spending the night at another girl's in my class um, house or whatever. And, like, you know, the day after they, um, and, like, they did all this stupid stuff, like, you know, girls do, like, they... Um, they did makeover, so they have, she has a ton of makeup on, a ton of hairspray and shit in her hair. Mm -hmm. You know, she's all kinds of crazy yeah, looking. 70s. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the next day, where her parents were going to come pick her up and then take her somewhere. Yeah. Like they had to go do something. So she asked if she could take a shower at this girl's house. And this girl has a weird thing about people, t she wouldn't allow her to take a shower in her house. And she's all like, but look at me, like, clearly, I need, you know, for my hair, you know, I need to take a shower. So what she did is she took her in the backyard and then took a water hose and, like, put it over, um, like, a tree branch so it came down and made her bathe out there with, like, this cold-ass water from the water hose. What the fuck? It was the weirdest thing did, did ever. Did you ever find out why? I asked her why. Like, why would you... And, like, and it was so weird. Like, she came back into the house. And because the girl, I think, used the excuse of, like, my mom doesn't want people in the shower or whatever. Like, my mom doesn't want it or whatever. And so my friend came back, you know, after she had taken the shower. Mm -hmm. And luckily she had her swimsuit. So she was she took it in her swimsuit in this right. girl's backyard. And, um... Anyway, she came in the house to get ready, and the girl's mom was, like, the owner of the house was there, and she's like, honey, why didn't you take a shower? And she's just like, like, I don't know, but they never, I never got the reason of why she did that, but the girl did a lot of weird stuff. Like, one time we were, um... She the one that pooped her pants because it made her feel better? <laughs> no, she wasn't that one. Um, we'll get back to that. We'll touch, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll circle back to that one. We'll circle back to that. No, um... So they had a, it was like for her birthday or something. We had like a one big sleepover. We were all there. All the, all six or eight of us were there at this girl's house. Yeah. Anyways, it was the night after and we were all getting up for breakfast. And, um, I'm, I'm hard to wake up. Yeah. And so I was like the last Hung one. Yeah. We were like 12, dude. Probably, yeah. Hung over. Um, so anyways, <laughs> all the girls are already up and dressed and they're already in like the living, the dining room. And I come in the, to get to the dining room, you have to go through the kitchen, mm -hmm. like the way her bedroom was. So I'm like late. And I come through the kitchen and her mom's sitting there making uh, bacon. She goes, hey, honey, do you want a bacon sandwich? I'm like, yeah, sound, sounds great. She's like, okay. And so I go sit down. And all the girls are eating cereal, <laughs> except for the one girl who's, it's her, her house same girl with the shower thing right mm -hmm. she's not <clears throat> and i'm like okay so I, I don't think anything of this i'm like whatever i'm still half asleep and they're all eating cereal and then um i uh her mom comes in and um hands me a bacon sandwich and hands the girl a bacon sandwich and she throws a fucking fit she's like i'm the only one who's supposed to get bacon sandwiches 
And apparently she had told all the other girls, like when I wasn't there, that they weren't allowed to have bacon sandwiches, that only she could have a bacon sandwich and they all had to eat cereal. <clears throat> I didn't get that shit. memo and I was like, yeah. mm, my bacon sandwich. <laughs> like, huh, sucks to be you. Yeah. This bacon's really great. <laughs> this is good bacon. I was like, because I was like, why the hell would you eat cereal when you could have a bacon sandwich? Yeah, she's offering them. She, yeah, you can the just go ask her. <laughs> yeah. Because it wasn't like they were limited in bacon because yeah. the mom was frying up a whole bunch of it. Yeah. Anyway. That's fucking weird. It was really weird. People are weird. They are weird. I think it was some sort of a power trip thing. Poop girl. Um, I, I told the whole story that it was. That's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> Poop herself because it made her feel better. She had issues um, and would uh, poop. In her pants and like wear it, and it was some sort of a. You know, she literally told us one time it, it made her feel better. So that's what she did. It's but that was like in elementary. Yeah, like by the time we got in junior high, she was out of that. Like tenth, eleventh grade. Interesting. The drive to Dallas was fun. Did you enjoy that? You were drunk. I was drunk. You didn't seem like you enjoyed it. You griped the whole time. God, you were so bitchy this weekend, that weekend. I don't remember the word. Uh, so the bunch. bitchy. Got really angry a few times. Yeah. Poor smacked me in the face with the axe handle. No, he got mad also another time about something. Like in the car about something. Yeah. Nearly made me go full troll mode. You pushed the button. What happened? I don't, I don't know. remember. I don't remember it. We also went to Adam and Eve's. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, that was awkward as shit. That wasn't too bad. You got slapped in the face with the something big and black, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I don't know. Only like ten o'clock. I can let you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've, that's a, like Loki telling you you look like shit, Johnson. Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> 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 so All right. Well, cool. Um, is there anything else we want to tell our adoring fan out there? <laughs> the one guy. If you get a chance to go to Fan Expo do it. Did you have a good time? I did. Despite I, all the cancellations and all the other weird stuff. I didn't know what had been canceled and what had. <laughs> Brennan so Frazier, I that's was the big fine. One. That was the big one. Um, and the Hobbits. Actually, oh, I and the looked, Hobbits, yeah. looked on YouTube for 2021 Fan Expo Dallas. Oh, yeah? There's some videos. Yeah, there are. There are a couple Are we out. in them? Yeah. Uh, I, not that I've seen. I looked. But there's stuff I recognize. There's like Amber and I were in one of those one time, like in the background. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it was like cosplays I remember and shit. It was pretty cool. Cosplayers weren't that good this year either. Like, and I mean, they weren't bad. It's just that it wasn't as many. Probably has something to do with the COVID, I'm sure. But, yeah. But usually, there's a lot of really great cosplayers. That's one of my favorite things about several of the last cons is the cosplay. Like. In fact, I have a lot of pictures from the cons, and it's all not with celebrities. It's with people in their cosplay, because I appreciate the shit out of that stuff. cosplay is not consent, correct? Yeah. Right. But, like, I, I legit, like, respect everybody that puts that much work in them. Oh, yeah. Like, Hell it's, yeah. That's like a lifestyle, man. And yeah. So, like, I, I don't know. I, I ate it up. Like, I thought it was great. There's a like uh, a old man Logan one time that was like never broke character the entire day walked with like the limp. I think you showed me that. One yeah, time. like he looked great, and there was a really great Iron Man and Pepper Potts too. Oh yeah. But this year I really don't remember any that just really stood out. It's just a lot of hot anime girls, which I mean is not bad. It's just yeah. That uh, is not a lot of work that has to go into that costume on most of those. Well, not on the level that we're talking about. Yeah. Most of those are pretty small and skimpy. Which, yet again, nothing wrong with that. The Tomb Raider. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of work went into that one. 
Yeah. From her doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going. Whatever, man. Whatever makes her happy. But yeah, she's gonna have some back problems. She was already out walking. She weird was already. walking weird. Was she? <laughs> I didn't notice. She kind of had like she hunched know, to one side. <laughs> Yeah, she's going to have back problems. Yeah, she is. But, uh, but so anyways, yeah, cosplay was not as big a thing this year as I would have uh, hoped. So I'm hoping once this uh, pandemic dies down, we'll see some more of that come back. What? What? Yeah. What is up with that? Why do you guys not have stalkers? We do. Why is that bathroom for that? Hey, why was it in my high in the boys' high school locker room that way? Why were you in the boys' high school locker room so Don't much? Don't be asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, answer that question, Amber. Oh, where's other? <laughs> it was something legit with school. Like, we were doing physical or something. Like, I wasn't in there when I wasn't supposed to be. There was whatever. But I just remember walking by and, like... Just do shit and then you could see it? No, there wasn't any guys <laughs> in there. But the, do but the, the stalls were off. <laughs> The doors were off, and we had asked the guys about it, and they're like, yeah, you just walk by, and you see so-and-so shitting. I'm like, you have seen each other shitting? That's weird. And they're like, yeah. Like, and I'm like, I don't know. It's just the whole level, man. That's I, I, weird to me. I mean, we had giant communal showers. <clears throat> so well, I mean, they had the showers, too. That's yeah, true, but you're not watching the dude take a dump. Whole nother usually level a, of intimacy. I'm not going to lie. Usually it's a lot worse weird shit in a football locker room. But. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but... Weird. Poop is not coming out of the butthole. <laughs> I don't think so. There's a few times it was probably questionable. <laughs> In a weird time. <laughs> yeah, that's not wrong. We locked a dude in the locker one time while he was naked and poked him with a stick. You get kicked out of school for that. While he yelled, "I'm not an animal." <laughs> I was also weirdly into it. <laughs> like you were laughing too? Or yeah. Or was he just like hard? Uh, laughing too. And then when we opened the door, he ran out, jumped on top of like one of those big fans that you have, like the big like wor workshop fans. Yeah, yeah. Like straddled it. Buck ass naked. <laughs> and he started, was into it. Yeah, it was like doing a weird dance. <laughs> yeah, it's... Okay, so this is all gay. This this wasn't sexual harassment. No, no. Okay, okay. Apparently... Something big happened in Eula. Yeah. What, really? I don't, know, I don't know what happened, but... it. Apparently these high school boys... I don't have to poop now. Um, <laughs> if I don't think about it, it's fine. <laughs> they either took off or forced a kid to take off their pants... And like sprayed water in his butthole or something like that. Gave him a colonic? Maybe. Okay. What was that story? Katie told me something. About it. They set the emu on fire. Oh, that, that happened out of. Um, I knew that there's a whole lot of issues and they called it sexual assault. Yeah. And But there was I didn't see any details of what actually happened. But they just said a hazing incident. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> I'm looking at the hazing incident. In you are. Insistent. So, a dumb thing for ours while you're looking that up. Our locker room was right next to the parking lot. And so, like, someone would always be walking around naked in the locker room. Just like... Right. Like, for way longer than they should, like, just because. Right. And uh, if they ever got too close to the door, everybody would just grab them and throw them outside because the door locked on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd just be thrown outside naked. Yeah. In front of all of everybody out in the parking lot. Right. 
That was a pretty standard routine thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Did it ever happen to you, Craig? Uh, no. I. Craig's like, I wasn't walking around naked. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't do that. Yeah. Okay, so five students. This is from uh, KansasCity.com. Okay. Kansas City Star newspaper. Five students are accused of sexual assault during a possible hazing incident at a Texas high school. A juvenile de- victim was assaulted in a locker room during the final period of school last Wednesday at Eula and Clyde, according to the Callahan School County Sheriff's Office. The school reported the incident to the four authorities the next day. Officials said after a lengthy investigation and interviews, it was revealed five students were involved and identified as suspects of a sexual assault incident. I mean, if you're putting something into someone's butthole, that's a, that's a pretty sexual assault. Mm-hmm. That's a I mean, sexual assault. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just... Uh, administrators learned of a serious incident on campus and immediately notified authorities parents of students involved and remove those implicated in the matter from campus and school activities. Well, I would hope. This isn't saying what happened. I couldn't find what actually happened on any of the things. But, you know, at the same time, they probably don't want to release details. Everyone in that community knows who these people are. Yeah. Uh, knows who they are and what happened. Yeah. yeah. Katie's still on the uh, Clyde like times whatever. Mm. Well, tell or, me what you think Katie said. What I think and, Katie and we'll said. We'll just spread that rumor. And we'll just spread it. Um. So these spread it nice and wide. These dudes cornered him, made him take off his pants. Is he an underclassman? I don't know. Same or it was just a dude who didn't shower. Uh, and just sprayed the shit out of him with water. But like in his asshole? I think so. That's I don't. Pretty, yeah. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, it is. I don't know how old the dude was. I don't know how old the... the well, you, you can get kind of, you know, high school it can get a little dicey because if you have someone who's 18 yeah. and you have someone who's 16, I mean... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a problem. That's, that's yeah. a, I mean, it's already a it's problem. Al- it's it, it is a problem. But it's already it's worse. Than. It becomes a, a whole other level if yeah. you start running into that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not good. You, I'm not anyway. saying no, anyway. No way around it. Right. And whether you're 16 or 18 or 12, you should know not to do that. Where did 12 come in? I meant like at any age. Oh, okay. You should know not to do that to another human. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I don't feel like that. It needs to be said. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it goes from like being a juvenile record thing to permanent record. Permanent thing. record. And you can with be, I mean, thing. I was fixing yeah, to so, say, can yeah. you become a? Um, you're registered now. Yeah, you're a sex offender, and yeah. there's a whole thing. Because you're an idiot. Because you know? you're yeah. an idiot in, in high school. But you know that poor kid that that happened to. He's gonna be that, scarred for he's life. He's gonna no be scarred what. for life yeah. too. Yeah. That's like a DC comic villain. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's just like why people are just stupid, man. I don't know. It's mob mentality. Yeah, pretty much. When we were in Brownwood, um, they had some sort of party out there. Is it Stephenville Craig or Comanche? Yeah, one of those. Did y'all go up there? Um, but anyways, these kids were having, you know, because it's out there in the country. Yeah. Kids just go out there and, you know, drink and do and get stupid. Yeah. Anyways, the, they were out there and the neighbor had this Indian. And apparently this neighbor loved this Indian. Like, it was a prize Indian. What? Emu. Emu. E-M-U. Emu? The big bird. Emu. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let it be. <clears throat> Anyways, so the dude had so these kids stole the, this emu and tortured it to death. Like it was like gouged out its eyes, sodomized it, like all of this horrible stuff. 
to this bird. Oh my Lit God. it on fire alive. Like, did these horrible things to this bird. Why? I don't know. I'm like... I mean... Horrible I, human beings. I mean... I'm not that I have any huge love for emus. Birds scare me. Just I don't like them at, at all. Especially really big, big ones. ones that are kind of dicks. But um, but why would you in any setting torture an decide, animal? Like how do you decide? Like hey, here's what we're gonna do today. Yes. I don't know. That's <laughs> fucked. Anyways, it was big news. A lot of people. I mean, they were criminal charges and yeah. you know, a bunch of stuff. I would hope. It was, um... It's it, times like, like shit like that where I'm sad that animal cruelty doesn't carry some kind of bigger sentence. Because, I mean. and part of me is like, I mean, yeah, it was an emu this time, but there's something deep-seated in somebody. Oh, yeah. Like those uh, kids that fucked up that homeless guy. Like a few years back here in Abilene. Oh. That happens a lot in all it over. It does. Like, too much. Oh, yeah. Dude died. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. It, I. They just found a guy and they just I, beat him to death? I want to say he died. I, I don't want I don't want to say he died. I don't want to say he died. Uh -huh. I think that's what happened. Mm. Um, Like, they just found him, beat the shit out of him, and left. Yeah. It, people used to call it bum rolling. Yeah. That's because they don't value them as people. They see them as lesser citizens of society. Yeah. That's a fucking shitty thing. Kids from Wiley suck. <laughs> Fuck you. They weren't from Wiley. I'm pretty oh. sure. They weren't. I know for a fact. How do you know? I remember the story. I'm oh, not, okay. I'm not going to say where they're from, but they're oh, not yeah, from Wiley. Wiley. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I, I, this you know, city, city chews them up and spits out, them back <laughs> That fucking movie. I said I need to watch it. Adeline High or Cooper. <laughs> you, you narrowed it down. Good job. <laughs> well, I mean, whether oh, it's... Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, anything that's alive that reacts to pain, no. there's yeah. something wrong you, yeah. in an individual to... And you're drawing sadistic pleasure from hurting it like that? Yes. No. Yeah. Whether... Unless not that I'm saying sense. they're the same, but I mean, whether it's another human being or a cat or anything, I mean, those are just different levels of the same. Unless that human being is consenting to the pain, and then it's okay. That's a, that's a whole different yeah. thing, right? What are you saying? Some people get... I don't think that that bum was getting off. <laughs> getting beat to death? Probably. Probably. Yeah. But did we talk about... Oh, no. No. Thumb cut? <laughs> your thumb, no one talked about your thumb. What? You wanna <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about now. <laughs> when I had that new comb. Oh. And I was just like, hey man, these are these are kind of like sharp. I just started running my thumb through the comb. Just cut myself. A little, a little old Johnny Cash on yourself. Yeah, I hurt myself today. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Do you get it, Johnson? To see if I still feel. Yeah. Did you still feel focused on the pain? Did you still feel, Johnson? No, if it was real. Did you feel erotic? Not really. I felt stupid. <laughs> That's understandable, considering you used to cut yourself on the fucking cold. <laughs> I'm assuming it was a plastic one, knowing you. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ninety-eight cents. <laughs> From the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Con Air, actually, if you want to know the brand. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were all asking about yeah. that. Yeah. So, Nicolas Cage sponsored it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as other big hair products, or combs, actually. I've only seen them do combs. You ever watch that movie? Yeah. Con Air? It's okay. It's not terrible. It's not his, his accent's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I think uh, it's supposed to be Southern, but it's... Ugh. It's something. What's his name is terrible in it? Uh, Steve Buscemi. Oh, yeah. 
Isn't he supposed to be like a super psycho killer? Yeah. Rapist killer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just the worst kind of person. Yeah. I think child rapist killer. Oh, the worst person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they found it. Good and, job. Because then at the that like middle or end of the movie, he like stumbles across his kid and uh That's yeah. right, yeah. And you're like, Don't you do it, Steve don't Bushimi. You, don't you fucking do it. I think I think he gets killed. He does. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. And everybody By cheers. By Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Everybody yeah. yeah. Everybody cheered. There's a Steve Buscemi. Good guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure. He seems like it. It's just salt of the earth kind of dude. Yeah. yeah. Not a child rapist at all. He, he, y'all heard the whole thing about 9-11. He, right? he carried a watch in his ass for like 10 years just to give it to this kid. What? Uh, what was a 9-11 thing? I don't think that's what that was. Um, so he was a, before he became famous as an actor, he was a New York City firefighter. Oh, yeah. And when 9-11 happened, he just went, suited up, and like... Started doing shit. Started helping. Yeah. Did, yeah. And um, refused to let anybody... Um, Take pictures or do anything about it because it was too stressful. You know, he wouldn't. Take he didn't want credit for it. Credit right, time. right. So I don't think it was because he didn't want credit. I think it was because like he was doing shit. Well, thing, like he was, he was busy. Focused. This yeah. was not a publicity thing at yeah. all. This was he was going to help his brothers. Right. And um. Uh, yeah. like he wouldn't stop and take pictures. Yeah, of people. yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. I mean, oh, I know. Yes. Yeah. I was making it clear for all the audience. Thank you. Which yeah. I probably wasn't. I wasn't even talking to the mic, so nobody knew what I said. <sighs> Good job, Amber. Is that a new? Is that new dice? The purple ones. Mm, I've had them for a little bit. The new box the box dice. Box. Because we were uh, Kickstarter backers oh. for their animated series. Fuck. Back before we had our own stream. Oh, fuck. That's cool as shit. They are really nice. Yeah. Those are... <laughs> like... And a three and a nine. Cool. Gotcha. They roll really well for Amber, which is weird. 18 and a nine. Gotcha. You about ready to wrap this up, Craig? Yeah, just about. I'm so tired. I'm gonna kill Jaren, and I'm done. I'm so sore. Why are you sore? It's manual labor. I don't have to count people for a living now. You regretting that at all, or no? No, fuck no. It's great. Cool. I feel like I'm actually doing something. Which I know is just pipe, but... Laying pipe? When I... Ah! <laughs> First time for everything, big guy! <laughs> this guy over here laying pipe! It, <laughs> it's it's a feeling of accomplishment. Once you get done with a job... Feels good. I was telling someone earlier, Greg, when you were in the house. I was really happy for him. Yeah, yeah, I am too. I'm glad you're not at the prison anymore. Thank you. I'm glad you finally got out of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which now I've you're working with the felons that you used to watch. I've accidentally <laughs> yeah. stated that in a wrong way at my new job. Uh-oh. You just recently got out of prison? It was something like that. He was like, what were you, what would you do, used to do? I was like, I was in prison. Oh, I was in the prison. Huh. Like, oh, there's like a lot of y'all out of here. Like, <laughs> no, I'm a. I was a. I was a guard. He was like, oh, less than that of y'all out here. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. So, yeah. you done playing, Craig? Almost. We've been waiting on you. Yeah, I'm almost done. What gin, gin, gin? What gin, gin? Bungee, you dumb bungee. What? Um, What'd you say? 
Hot anime girls. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, who doesn't like hot anime girls? It just looks too blocky. Roblox. It is Roblox. Which is funny, because it doesn't have to be this way. They just do it this way. Like, I've seen it. It's like if you... There's a certain place in this game, if it kind of gets glitchy. And so, like, you have to respawn your character. And it comes in not looking all blocky and stuff. It's dumb. Why do we do it this way? Because it's Roblox. It's an offshoot of Minecraft, right? I guess. And it's easier, probably, to code for the people who make these. Like, because this was just made by some dude. And just pump them out. Uh, yeah. For kids. You yeah. know? Yeah. Or people. Eh, maybe kids. Maybe. All right. Um, I'm gonna go poop. Can I have to poop again? Um. Well, forget about it for like ten seconds. I don't want to do that because that's probably not helpful. It's not. It's oh, so I just doggy. just push it back in. With what, Doug? Your finger. Yeah. Or a water hose. That's a sexual not if you do it to yourself. That's that's hygienic. Don't they call that like a colonic? Is that what that's? Is that a... I mean, there is a thing for that. I, I don't think that's what they were doing for the, the kid. No, no. Maybe that's why that girl didn't want you taking a shower in her shower. You know, didn't want you to see her summer's eve. Is that possible? I have no idea, Craig. I really think it was a thing. Could be. See, look. If he'd waited that much longer, we'd be done. Well, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Um, it's been a Friday night. It's been a Friday night. We played some video games, talked to Con, learned a lot of weird things about Coleman. Yep, that is all what we do on Fridays. Yep. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, we'll talk to you later. Um, check out all of our stuff. Um, and we will be back next week with D and D. Waiting for Craig to stop the stream. Bye.